Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games broadcasting at 60 frames a second. Welcome to Sunday. We've got a whole brand new slew of show of I'm, games. I'm very excited. Not shows. Yeah, games. yeah, yeah. Um, including Amoeba Jump, Yay. one of our favorites, um, which is going to be a high score challenge mm -hmm. as part of the 2020 Harmony Games. That'll be at the end of the show because we don't know how long we're going to take to get a good score. Yeah. So <laughs> leave it at the end. Um, but we're also going to be playing Alfred Challenge uh, from 1998. Very early game. Mm -hmm. uh, Ronister in Space, a very new game. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got an exclusive release of that. Mm -hmm. Exclusive look at it. This is the final version of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also got Low Res Racer, which is a um, early game by VHZC mm. um, that we haven't played on the show and I only discovered a little while ago. I'm like, oh my god, this is VHZC's game and we haven't <laughs> played it. Um, welcome everybody in the chat. Yes. Also um, the Brazilian Atari yeah, all, fans online, all as the people new have names. been pointing out. Yeah, yeah all awesome. the new names from yeah. Brazil, because we are playing <laughs> a game from Brazil today, which is, which is Ron Stern cool. Space. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers that help support the show, including Ground Trooper, who just resubscribed today. Excellent. thank you. They're up to 19 months. That's crazy. I, have I, we been around for 19 months? That's what it's... I was just going to say. <laughs> it's, uh, have we been around that long? Yeah. Well, we have. We have. Just barely. Um, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Check, Dianoid, Gretams, Johnny WC23, Carl G, Croco 2600, Laudmot, Mark Space Inc., MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Packrat VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Six Sweet, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spiceware, S. Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunkist, and Tiki Dan K. And you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime. Mm and click subscribe and make sure you follow subscribe and click like on all the things twitch youtube facebook instagram and twitter because that's where we announce things oh and repentless vg just re-upped as well thank you very much 10 months they've been subscribing for now awesome and uh, happy birthday the d train yes happy birthday <laughs> you're a day off my niece's birthday is tomorrow so uh. yeah it's my aunt's birthday today. Is it? Yeah, and it's Mother's Day yes, in lots Canada going and U.S. On. Yeah, a very happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And um, all the... Cat mothers? Cat mothers. Dog mothers. And <laughs> all, you know, all, all, yeah, the women you have in your lives, if That's they're watching right. or not. And uh, yeah, right. happy Mother's Day. Um, oh, Miss Sinclair, I've been watching on YouTube, but this is the first time I've actually shown oh, up for a stream. Well, cool. Welcome Thank to the live coming. show. Yeah. So you get instant feedback on the live show. <laughs> yes. We say your name, you say something, we read it out. It's incredible. Yeah. It's so nice. Welcome. It's nice having a small, smaller community. I'm not going to say it's a small community because it's not, but, <laughs> not small but, lines. but we actually have enough, um, not so much that the chat flies by us. Yeah, we can, we're we can, actually able to read it. We can interact it's, with it's our... It's a nice level. With our community. So where you, nice. where yeah. everybody everybody knows your name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so thank you, everybody, for joining in today. A lot of new yes. names. Uh, yeah. Uh, the D-Train 37, Miss Sinclair, Carl G, Ground Trooper, uh, Metal Lunar, Arena Foot, Bruno Blas, Mad Max 2069, Aptivo Games, that's a new name. Yeah. Um, Thrust 26, welcome. Dan AVC, uh, I Sposta, Kip welcome. Kelly up there. Uh, Packrat VG, and anybody I missed. Oh, yeah. Prow7 just got in there. And yeah. Ronister Official, uh, whose game we're playing today. That's cool. Very cool. Um, so, on to the uh, mail news and feedback. Um, we've been promising and talking about it for a very, very long time, and now it has actually happened. We have opened the Zero Page Homebrew store, Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, because people have said, oh, you should make some t-shirts, and mm. I'm like, okay, we'll make some t-shirts yeah. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> we'll um, get there. But last night, uh, we actually yeah. got around to putting it up. Sat down and did some, uh, did some designs. designing. Yeah. Very simple designs, but yeah. I think people will like them. Yeah, um, and because um, I wear a bunch of video game t-shirts on yeah. the show uh, of other people's things mm. and other designs and, uh, and people have asked for some. So we're going to take a look 
at uh, some of those, some of the designs that we've put up um, in the store. We started with two, just two designs, um, very uh, simple ones. So let's switch over to that. So it's hosted on Tee Public, um, mostly because, oh, don't drop that. Um, I believe this one's from Tee Public, right? Yeah, yeah, this is VZHC's um, uh, Draconian. Right? Bosconian. Bosconian. Yeah, it's not. It's after the arcade game. <laughs> At the arcade game, not, not the twenty six hundred one, and, uh, and which thought, we really, I, I, I think I found and really liked. And, and the quality's are, good. Yeah. So I thought, well, let's just go with go with that one because we want to make sure that it is good quality. Yeah, we enjoyed. Uh, yeah, it's quite a nice shirt. We uh, each have it actually. Yeah. Because I bought <laughs> one that was a bit too small for James, so then I got a bigger one, and so I have the small one. So it's really nice. So let me just paste that into the chat so you can take a look at your own on your own computers yeah um is that vzhc's or oh this is ours yeah, no yeah. this is ours yeah um it's actually the easy one easy link is t t e dot p u b t dot pub forward slash l i c forward slash z p h yeah so t public but you should be able to search for it too if you just go to t public i would think yeah. that's not um here let me give you the I'll paste it in the other be. link. They're they're both the same. Should be fairly easy. Oh yeah, very easy to get too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you've already been looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. There's uh, the there's a short one. Yeah. So um, here's the Speaking front. Speaking of. Yeah. There we go. Of the, one of the stars. One of the stars. Of the we asked him permission to yeah. put them on the. <laughs> yeah. So we've got two designs here. One with the full uh, name of the show, zero page homebrew there. And one with the cats. Yeah. <laughs> so let's take a look at the uh, full name first. We were very excited about this. It's so much fun. What is this? No longer exists. What? what oh, is no. Happening? Did you click on? What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> um, we... Okay. We'll click on the other one and sort that out later. Yeah. Oh, that one's working. That's very odd. But anyway... Um... Yeah, so here's the ones with the cats, ZPH, yeah. with both Atari and Pixel on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. That's a little bit bigger. Um, so we put the rainbow stripes in the background because mm -hmm. we have that in the logo. Um, and there is also all Are the other shirts, things that they stickers, give. stickers, mugs, mugs. Um, magnets, yeah. a pillow, a pin... There's, there's a pillow with the cats on it. Uh, as you were browsing T Public, something about your browser made us think you're a bot. There are a few things that. Was... Oh, what the hell? That's, That's really weird. Yeah. Um, Too many people clicked on oh, it. Oh, it's at gone. Once. Oh, no. They've erased it. <gasps> We'll get that back. We'll get that back. Don't worry. You saw what the logo what looked the, like. That's really is... funny. It must have happened just in the moment because it was just there. Maybe a whole bunch of people clicked on it at once and it kind of went, whoa, something's happening. Quite possibly. It's possible. But anyway, yeah. uh, it, well, don't worry. We have it. Somebody needs sold to... Out. Yeah. Sold out. Sold <laughs> out. I don't think so. No, it's uh, print on demand. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's oh. funny. Don't worry. We'll get it back up. It'll be back up. Very what did you guys do? Yeah. Wrecked it over. Well, the is so scroll back up uh, the screen there. So basically, it's it's that. Yeah. It's it's, it's that icon. It's this icon. Yeah. Here we'll get it back on up. the left. Um, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. That's the, very funny. Thought of thought thought we were bots. Yeah. Yeah. Only one logo. Well, at least the ones with the cats are there. Yeah. <laughs> and that one's That's that one's funny. a nice one. Yeah. So you can take a look at all the different things yeah. and buy one or not buy oh, one. Oh yeah. Yeah. And apparently it's on sale. We don't control the price. Yeah. Uh, for the next eleven hours. Yeah. So there you go. For two days. And we'll get that other one up after the show. Yeah. Uh, should be very very easy. Hopefully it didn't erase all the yeah. settings because we picked colors and stuff. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Computers. They're yeah. the worst. So that's that's really fun. Just a fun thing to do because people have been asking for t-shirts and there it is. Um, so let's open a package I got and I brought scissors this Yay. time. Careful. Watch the kitten head. Stab, stab. Oh. No. Let's not stab the kitten. Wow, this really hasn't been opened. Nope. I think I know what it is, but you never know till you open it. Do you have your address on the front there? I have my name, but I don't have my okay. address. 
I checking. blacked it out. Just checking. I know not to do that now. After the incident. <laughs> well, you did know before, you just forgot, so. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I just forgot about one time, but I blanked it out later. So make sure this doesn't have my dress on it anywhere. Yeah, looks nope. Okay. okay. Just be careful what you pull out. It's taped. Yeah. So I'm always scared when, when you're all excited opening the box that there's going to be an incident with this with the scissors. An incident with yeah. the scissors. <laughs> scissors and scissors. definitely don't want that. Yes. It's foam. Yay foam. Oh, it is what I thought it was. Yay. Okay. Atari's very excited. Are you? Yeah, he's looking up. So this is for something that's related to this shirt. Mm -hmm. um, it is a power supply um, for the Commodore 64. Only on the show do people get excited about power supplies. <laughs> because um, whenever I read about the Commodore 64 <laughs> yes. and people wanting to use their old Commodores, yes. they say, throw away the power yeah, supply. Yeah, that big brick it comes with, right? It will kill your computer. Mm. It will kill your Commodore 64. Yeah. Um, so I was like, oh, I better buy one. And I've been putting it off. Um, Mini is even bigger. <laughs> um putting it off but then i i looked around and looked for one and this one looked like the most professional looking one there's ones that are kind of diy-ish mm -hmm. um and also this one has a power supply not only for the c64 but for the floppy drive at the same time you don't mm. need two bricks uh plugging it in oh so i thought that's that's awesome that's and it only cool. added a tiny bit to the price yes yes um so now i can actually run the c64 nice. um in uh, relative safety which is really really good and um yeah we haven't plugged in any of the c64s in a while no any? it's been Do a we number have one? of years we have multiple we have multiple screens multiple. yeah i figured we would multiple c64s yeah, yeah. And uh, thrust 26 what's wrong with the original power supply um they will kill the c64 like um, is it it's just inconsistent like it's bad it's dirty dirty power oh okay. it's just not good yeah. and i think it just gets worse as time goes on yeah they're just not made well or they just were not med meant to last mm -hmm. so you can look it up on the internet they it's everywhere anytime somebody talks about buying a c64 mm -hmm. or plugging in their old one there's just a ton of warnings say throw out the su power supply mm -hmm. or keep it and don't use it yeah and buy a new one and there's a lot uh, they short hot instead of grounding out. So mm. they're actually designed wrong then. There you go. Mm. Um, so I'm looking forward to that because I've got a bunch of add-ons for the C64, mm. like um, cartridge-based um, like SD card. I can load things off the SD card mm. and also transfer them off my old floppies mm. so that I can rescue programs that I've made, games that when you I were, made. When you were a kid? Yeah. yeah. Little things that I've made or yeah. saved games or things like that. Yeah. Because yeah. the floppy dry, flop, floppy disks don't last forever. Yeah. Um, so I announced, uh, well, not announced, but posted a little graphic yesterday or the day before that the new Champ Games new game is coming on mm. Wednesday in three days. Mm -hmm. what? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Very three exciting. days. Lots of fun stuff. So, happening. and there was lots of feedback, and Champ Games reposted the little picture that yeah. I, I did, the mock up cartridge that I've used before. Yeah. That I used before in the Galaga one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and lots of feedback because I said, oh, what game could it be? What do you think? What are your wish lists? <laughs> what kind of game would you like to see? Yeah. And whoa, were there a lot of feedback <laughs> of, of games they would like to see? Yeah. And maybe one of these people will guess it. Maybe not. Yes. Lots of world premieres. Yes, yes. it is a world premiere next Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. champ games um so i'm gonna go through these really quick um and i'm gonna read the feedback that uh john champo gave on the ones that he did give feedback to because mm. he did make some uh make some comments so the ones he didn't make comments is that a hint maybe he didn't want to say that's the right one we'll see i think john is really enjoying himself <laughs> right now just everyone all the speculation yeah. and yeah <laughs> Um, Champ Kong, which is Donkey Kong, um, but mm. he's, because he made a lot of DOS games mm. uh, a long time ago, and there's like, it's on a, a fan page, actually, a list of them. You can still download them mm. and play the DOS games. And he said, uh, nope, nothing with Mario in it, because it's very dangerous. The big N will go after you very quickly. Um, Paradroid, um, 
which is not an arcade game, I don't think. I think it's a C64 game and other uh, uh, computer game. Uh, Galaxian. Um, and he said, we're fans of Galaxian, although Atari did a great job with their version for sure. And mm -hmm. I don't think that really needs a remake. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would really add a lot to it. Mm -hmm. um, Sinistar. Um, no feedback on that. Mm -hmm. um, that's a possibility because <laughs> it has voice in it. Mm -hmm. And I know John has been taking advantage of the Atari Vox a lot. Yeah. Um, Desert, Desert Bus Championship Edition. Desert Bus. That's obviously posted <laughs> as a joke. Um, yeah, I don't think that's a possibility. Um, yeah. <laughs> Liberator, which I didn't know before I looked it up. I can't remember what it looks like now. Um, Gyrus. The uh, 2600 Gyrus? version of Gyrus is actually really good. Yeah. And it has really good music. Mm. I mean, the graphics are a little bit low res. They could be improved, but the gameplay's fine. I don't... It's probably not that, but you never know. Qbert Arcade. Um, he gave feedback on this. Qbert for the 2600 is really good, but could use some improvements, that's for sure. Mm. I mean, it's fine. It has it has the board, yeah. and some people have made hacks to it to make it a little bit better. Carl G says, I'm hoping for Gauntlet. Yeah, Gauntlet would be really cool, but that's I think list. that's... that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's a big game. Yeah. Um, with lots of levels. Need a lot of ROM for that. Uh, Tempest. Um, yeah, people really want Tempest on the 2600. Uh, he said, Tempest would be amazing. It's one of our favorites. We have a lot of those. But the vector graphics will be tough to overcome. Yeah, a lot of, some people have made attempts at Tempest on the 2600, including a real prototype of it. And it's just really hard to represent the map or the, the um, play field because you have to use play field for it. Mm -hmm. And they're four wide and it just looks really chunky. Unless you're going to do with the ball or the missiles, which is possible, and you get into a lot of flickering because there's many across the screen, it could be possible. But he said the vector graphics will be tough to overcome. Mm. I agree. Um, you'd have to change the, the way the, the layout looks, really, and it wouldn't be as arcade, close to the arcade as possible. Uh, Robotron. Robotron is one of our faves. We were just playing this in the arcade in Rhode Island not too long ago. The hundreds of sprites in the later levels would make this pretty difficult, though. Mm. Rumor has it Atari tried it themselves way back, but the massive flicker was atrocious. Yeah, if you've seen Robotron, it's just a square box mm. full of things, full of enemies, enemies. and pickups, yeah. and it's just like they it, could it's do it. too complex in a way. Like, yeah. It's very complex, just yeah. a ton of things on the screen. And it would max out the number of things in a row. He's, mm -hmm. he's, he made Mappy, which has a lot of things in a row, mm -hmm. um, like up to 10, and they're fine-ish. Mm -hmm. But Robotron, you have 20 or just tons, and it would be mm -hmm. too crazy. Way too crazy. Some games shouldn't be attempted on the 2600, Nathan Strom said. Tempest may be one of them. Yeah. Um, Star Castle on the 2600 are vector games. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Star Castle is a very, very good uh, version of Star Castle was made. Um, but that is a little bit different. Spiceware's been working on a version of Robotron? Mm -hmm. Not that I know of. That's cool. Uh, Miss Pac-Man Arcade or Junior Pac-Man Arcade. And uh, John said, we're all big fans of Pac-Man games. And Mrs. and Junior Pac-Man are no exception. Although we're pretty impressed with the Atari versions as they are now. Yeah, they're totally fine. Mm -hmm. The Atari versions. The original Pac-Man, there's already been tons of conversions of, conversions, of that. Yeah. For the 2600. And they're amazing. No need to touch those. Um, Joust. Uh, we think Joust for the 2600 is already pretty good, and I agree. I mean, the graphics could be improved a little bit, but mm. the actual gameplay is, is totally is perfect. fine. Yeah, yeah. Totally fine. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Timber, and we played that in the arcade mm -hmm. uh, quite a bit. Timber would definitely be a fun game to port, port and I also replied yeah. that it's in my top five of ports I'd like to see on the 2600, well, and it's totally feasible. Well, we played it. Had you played it before? I I had never played that game. So nope. we have an arcade in New Westminster, um, here in in Vancouver. Yeah. Uh, and um, they had Timber, a Timber yep. arcade machine, which neither of us had ever played before. And it's a really fun game. It's, it's chopping. Really it's chopping down trees yeah. while avoiding, you know, bees and bears, and <laughs> you have to get things done on time for your boss. Mm. And it's it's really cool. And I think really, really feasible. And you have to watch about tripping over the logs. And it's a two-player game. Mm. And there's bonus screens mm. where you're both on a log rolling. Yeah, the log rolling was really cool. <laughs> and very, very 
able to be done. Is it because we're Canadian? We have an affinity towards, <laughs> yeah. you know, Not that uh, I know of. <laughs> the logging industry. Yeah. No, uh, no, it was it was a really cute game. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Gorf. And he said, we're actively working on a Gorf Arcade. Okay. We have imported all the voices for Atari Vox and plan on releasing it in late 2020. Cool. So that's when Gorf's coming out. Mm -hmm. this, this secret game has never been mentioned in any public forum, so it'll be a surprise. So people that are guessing things that are already been announced, that's yeah. not it. It's not them finishing up a game. It's them starting a new one. I, I would have I would have put my hopes on uh, Satan's Hollow, but I'm pretty sure that's not it because he already he already he gave already us, mentioned that one a did, little did bit. Did someone do a proof of concept? Yeah, but he they have never really announced that it's Satan's Hollow yeah. that they're doing. No, uh, but I, I mean someone. But but, it, but it, it's it. been in I suppose. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, my my apologies. <laughs> I can't remember yeah. who does what. But um, not never mentioned by them. Could no, but it has been yeah. in the public. Yeah. And I suppose yeah. did an incredible proof of concept. Oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> the backgrounds are good. The sprites are good. It looked good, really good, and, yeah. And it's to show, proof of concepts yeah. are to show that you can do the things on the screen. Yes. Yeah. And he did. Yeah. Um, Gauntlet. Um, Gauntlet would be great, he, he said, especially when the Quadtari gets released for four-player action. Mm. Um, and also, and I added two-player with all the voices because gauntlet has a bunch of voices oh it's, a, it's they talk about food or don't shoot other yes, players yeah. um gauntlet would things be like really that cool. yeah gauntlet would yeah. be amazing gauntlet would be cool um be hard though and there was already kind of a proto gauntlet that was reversed mm. uh, released on the 2600 called dark chambers which is the real prequel to gauntlet mm. like it's the actual prequel that gauntlet came from oh and it's and people have uh, okay. Hacked Dark Chambers to be Gauntlet like. Okay. But not really They're Gauntlet. Not really There's gauntlet. not all the stuffs in there. Yeah, okay. But Gauntlet does get really crazy. That's the problem. It does, yeah. Because you could have an open screen and if you let the if you let the generators mm. keep generating enemies, you could fill the screen with enemies and he would have to limit that if he made that. Mm. He would have to say that's too many enemies, the generator won't make more. Mm. Um, Moon Patrol, um, which was brought up a previous show, and it was like, oh, maybe, maybe mm -hmm. Moon Patrol. Um, and he said, good guess, Lee. I'm surprised you didn't guess Exerion. So he didn't say no. Mm. Um, so it, I actually looked at Exerion as well, and that, that looks cool too. Um, a game called Make Tracks, an arcade game. Never heard of it before. Um, and they said, and he said, we must confess that we've never played Make Tracks, but sure, be sure to check it out on Mame. It sounds like a good one. Uh, Tutankham, um, he said, hmm, I don't think we've ever made any public announcements on Tutankham Arcade. Right now, it's just a proof of concept using the same brick effect as Zookeeper. There you go. There's a new game that they're working on, Tutankham, mm -hmm. and there was a Tutankham. Um, released for the 2600 but it's it's like totally different mm. it like it's like remade and they just use the same name and barely the same concepts mm -hmm. um, kicks I don't think that's ever gonna be made because of the chunkiness of the graphics needed for it mm. uh, like chunkiness that the 2600 it's the same problem okay. that um, um, the other game that I announced Tempest um, it's just too detailed of a game like you're drawing lines on a big square and sectioning off areas to fill in It's not it's it's not gonna happen the way people want it to happen. I think mm. if somebody made it on the 2600 um, Satan's hollow no comment mm. <laughs> um, Mr. Do uh, We have fond memories memories of playing Mr. Do at the local uh, Cumberland farms before school a proper 2600 port would rock and that would be very very cool it's very much like dig dug but okay okay you can throw a ball okay and defeat the enemies nice. and i think that would be very doable yeah just take miss take miss uh, dig dug mm. and kind of morph it into something else okay. so i think that's possible um thief um no comment hey i'd never heard of that one before I looked it up. Can't remember what it looks like now. Yeah. Food fight. No comment. Uh, there was a proof of concept uh, made by somebody. Might have been I. Supposed to again. Mm. Looks like it is possible. Um, food fight to be done. That'd be a pretty cool one. Uh, Aka R. <laughs> 
And then he said, we got to admit, you had us stumped with this one. We don't think we've ever heard of Aka R. Um, elevator action, that's already in the works mm -hmm. um, by is it Champ, I think it's Champ Games. Um, mm -hmm. um, and that's using bus technology, which is has some compatibility issues right now. So that won't be coming out till the bus issues get resolved. Mm -hmm. um, Xevious, that'd be very cool. That's a shooter. Mm -hmm. um, your little spaceship and you're shooting things. Um, Arena Foot's wish list, which I think he posted there. Uh, Tempest 2600, a Sinistar, Eyes, Nibbler, Curling, Spike, uh, a finished elevator action, Food Fight, RC, Pro-Am, Bullfighter, Super Pac-Man, which somebody made a proof of concept for and it looks pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Major Havoc, Baby Pac-Man. Um, Baby Pac-Man. That was made for the 7800. Mm. Um, it's possible. NFL football, CFL football, arena football. I think he likes football games. <laughs> um, Load Runner, which is already being uh, worked on, okay. called uh, uh, Fool's Gold um, by Dianoid. Okay. Uh, Narc, uh, Ivan Stewart's Off-Road. Very specifically, Ivan Stewart's Off-Road. <laughs> uh, Cloak and Dagger, uh, Space Panic Choplifter, which is already being worked on by yeah. two people. Okay. A choplifter, and they both look really good. Yeah. Uh, 1942, 1943. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah. yeah. 1942. Yeah. Possible. Totally possible, I think. But the planes fly past your plane. That'd still be fine. Yeah, you could do that. Um, and a bunch of other ones that they didn't comment on. Dig Dug Arcade. I don't think that needs to be remade. 2600 version of Dig Dug's totally fine. Tubin. Um, that could be done. 720. It could be done, but I, I doubt it will be. Mm. Tapper. The one for 2600 is fine. Could be improved. Um, Cyberball uh, and Tinder Simulator. <laughs> Which is not an arcade game. That's somebody's joke. <laughs> uh, so I have changed the settings on the output of OBS to Twitch today. Okay. Um, from f on the audio side of things. Okay. I don't know if it'll change anything, if it'll make it worse or make it better. Um, because... I've changed it from 48 kilohertz to 44.1 kilohertz. 48 is like the standard now for everything. 44 was CDs only. Okay. 44.1. Um, now I'm going to see if it makes any difference when I upload it to YouTube because YouTube 60 frames a second does not translate well to 30 um, because it always the audio strayed. And I'm like, well, there's a slight difference between 48 and 44.1. So we'll see if that makes any difference because the audio is perfect at 60 frames per second on YouTube, but when it drops it to 30, it just totally goes off. Mm. So let us know if there's any audio issues right now, um, and we'll take a look at that. And mm. I may have to switch over anything, but so far nobody said anything, mm -hmm. or they just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Looking good right now. Good. good. I didn't think it would affect Twitch. Um, it's more going to be on the end of YouTube. Yeah. Screens and text corrected by James O'Brien. Yes, um, um, I will get to that. But first, we're going to play one game. Alfred Challenge um, from 1988 by Eric Batcher. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Here you go. Uh, hold on the middle button. Uh, oh, yeah, Alex. And this is one of the earliest 2600 games. Uh, homebrews. So if you want to go down. One, two, sorry. We'll get there. Okay, I'm on. And the batteries. Oh no. Let's see if we can get this working without. Oof, oof, oof. Come on, you can do it. Switch. Nope. <laughs> Okay. That's always what happens. I'll be right back. We'll have to back. pause. Pause for a moment. Talk about the cats or something. I'll talk about the cats. Come on, Atari. Come on over. <laughs> Buddy. Whoa. We're going to have a torture the cat break for a moment here. I'll just bring in the batteries so I can do it on camera. <laughs> uh, of course, it's always when you want to do something because yes. that's when you're using it. Yeah. It's not a coincidence. That's how it happens but yeah usually i would hope that it wouldn't do it while broadcasting live such is the fun of live shows 
I hope you find some in there that work. Uh, it'll be good enough for this. I think... Well, this is a bit more of a... Yeah, we do need an Experiencing Technical Difficulties card. Yeah. Although you're seeing you're seeing the correct screen, we just can't see it right now. So Because <laughs> we have to switch over the TV yeah, input. Yeah, we have to switch it over. So. There we go. Devices. It's TV. more on our end than on your end, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Ah, okay. Yay. All right. 1998. Yeah, it is early. This is it according to file. Arena Foot's list. Arena Foot's uh, list. This is the seventh. Oh zip file. God! <laughs> More difficulties. This More seventh, difficulties. Seventh homebrew ever made. Zip files because I just transfer them over the directories. You're just doing it quickly. Yeah. yeah so I'm like, oh god. And usually they're unzipped. So people don't usually zip them up, but this one seems to be a. A little bit different. Mm. That's okay. It's very fast. I've got a computer right beside me. How are all your weekends going out there? We oh, are experiencing a beautiful sunny weekend. Oh my god. It's gorgeous yep. outside. It must Everybody's be 25, 25 Celsius some, somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like you want to go to the spreading, parks, but you don't. Spreading the virus yeah. everywhere. <laughs> but uh, I know out east, uh, my... my <laughs> Parents who live in Ottawa had snow yesterday, so okay, hold on the button. I will be uh, taking photos and rubbing it in. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's what you get for living in Ontario. <laughs> Too bad yeah, for you. Yeah, Pennsylvania. Yeah, snow. snow. I, I, I feel for you guys. Out May? East. May? Yeah. It's rough. That's it, rough. That is bad. All right. I'm sure... I don't know what Brazil's like. Uh, what... There. <laughs> talking yeah 77 freedom units <laughs> yeah it's very nice it's nice it might even go up in some some places it's a size 29 so 29 yeah, wow. which is just gorgeous weather for us here because vancouver's tends to be fairly uh oh wow this has pal and ntsc built into it into it and you just make a flip a switch nice this should be by, should be in color. There yeah. we go. Southern California, I would think, would be quite nice. I would think so. Down south, yeah. 18. Yeah, not bad. Not so bad. This uh, was released wow. August 21st, 1998, at the World of Atari Show. This is a 4K game. Mm. Um, other games by Eric Batcher is Alfred Challenge, Pac-Man by Ebivision, and Power Off. And we did play Power Off. Okay, go for it. Oh, okay. So some of those are ladders, and some of those are um, up ladders, and some of those are down ladders. So this is. And nice. some of those are slides. And oh, you I just off jumped the off the edge. <laughs> well, you walked or jumped off the ledge, yeah. So the solid ones are ladders up, and I think. <laughs> That's a very sensitive. Uh... <laughs> um. I don't know if this is this in any of your books, uh, Rena Foot, because that would be really good to read out. This from and this is actually still available. Well, that was a <laughs> short and uneventful game. Uh, uh, that's hilarious. This is still actually sold in the Atari Age store. Um, oh. Run, jump, and climb to reach the keys, opening doors to the next level. Uh, take care of the Tazniak and the Bukoi, which only have one idea: kill you. Hasn't said yet. Well, this is one of the books. Come on, come uh, on! I just pushed a little too far. There's no animation too to kind of everything show slides. Your, yeah, it's a very. Oh yeah, he he walks, he walks. Hmm. He walks. There's walking ah. animation. Oof. Yeah, so that's it's a down weird one. though because you to actually jump, you need to move move and jump. You yes. can't jump in place. So you have to go back and okay, jump. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna. I okay. know, I know. I saw you. Um, you read then. I saw you play this, so it's going to be a bit of a learning curve for me. Uh, where did you get? Run, jump, and climb to reach the keys, opening doors to the next level. Take care of the Tazniak and the Bukoi. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. What's an I with two dots on it? How do you pronounce that? Uh, Bukoi? I don't know. Bukoi? Bukoi. <laughs> uh, which have only one idea, kill you. 
Alfred had been anticipating this day for most of his life and trained intensely for it during the past year. Nobody knew why a passage appeared at the base of Mount Zepithar every 11 years, but everyone did know that once you entered the passage, you were caught in a universe of strange and hostile creatures seemingly from another world. When you go down yeah. a ladder, you can't stop. Oh, it is a ladder. Oh. Or a s slide. See, that's what I should have done. Oh, they are. No, it's a slide. Oh, it's a slide down. Because I can't stop oh, once I... That's go. why I just died. Because I didn't anticipate. Ah. And these ladders are like a pixel wide. Yeah, yes. Like you have to be on that pixel. Ah. <gasps> and down. <laughs> we'll get there. Getting further. Uh, this title is not in, in my, my books. books. Or any Ebby Visions. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. Lots of games to cover. So that's not... Alone, Alfred would face the ultimate challenge, and should he succeed oh, in his okay. quest, he would up, become the up. next village chief. Can you help Alfred realize his goal and safely guide him through the maze of ladders, ropes, platforms, and monsters? So you have to leave a little bit of time for yourself to... Oh, they're up and down. The other ones are just down. Yeah, the, the, the double ones are down. They're just slides, I suppose. Yeah. So if I go down this, I can't stop, so you have to time it so that you can jump over this guy. Ooh. Damn it, you're safe there. You're safe in the edges. And it resets the whole game. <laughs> you have to start from the beginning. So Alfred challenges Ebivision's first game written by Eric Bacher, you said? Ba Batcher? Bacher? This new release of Alfred Challenge features a professionally printed label and manual, and all five Ebivision games sold through Atari Age feature a uniform label and manual design. Uh. As part of a contest by Ebivision, there's a secret room hidden, a secret room screen hidden in the game, and the first person to find it won a copy of their unreleased version of Pac-Man. Jeff Rothkopf was the winner. <laughs> Rothkopf. Roth Rothkopf. Nice. So I bet nice. it's like you go to the side of something and like mm. you walk off. One of the challenging things of this game is being precise on the ladders which oh see i'm trying to go up the ladder but it's like oh where yeah. i'm thrust 26 things homebrewers have learned over time is using diagonals and some tolerance at ladders oh yeah. does the diagonals work no nope. no i think i think through um um programming oh, they do does it yeah okay diagonals do work in this so that will help a lot there you go Thank you for that reminder. I love, I there love, we go. Uh, um, I, I, the very cute crab-like thing. Yeah, the crab <laughs> reminds me of um, Mario. Uh, oh. Mario Brothers, right? Is it yeah. Mario Brothers? Yeah. The original Mario. The Brothers. original. Yeah. Which I was playing last night on the Switch. Yes. Um, whatever. Well, the Switch, they the have. online service, now has a whole bunch of. Um, Super Nintendo, because you can go to the edge. Nintendo and, and Super and Nintendo. Nintendo and Super Nintendo games on them. So we were we were playing with that. All the way around. Yeah. Yeah. We need to get James a stick so he can rage reset without getting off the couch. Oh, oh no! What? Right in the head. I like this little dude. I like his um his checkered uh, Pants? shorts. I don't know what you would call them. Yeah. Checkered shorts. Shorts. It's pretty cute. It's kind of like a Pac Man with uh, <laughs> boxers, or I don't know. Yes. I think the the programmers like Pac-Man, and that's why they oh, made because they made a Pac-Man version. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they made a little. Yeah, of course, it's yellow cute. too. Yeah, it's very cute. I like that. Yeah, I, I do okay. like the uh, the monsters. The one at the top, he's flashy, flashy. Oh, he's flashy. That's very nice. No, 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 no. Oh, no, what pressed... are you doing? No, I don't think you can jump across that, can you? No, no, you can't. I just accidentally, oh. instead of pressing down. Uh, uh, here's... I need, yes, I do need a stick. Yeah. A reset uh, stick. We we tried to train Atari, but it just hasn't worked. Atari Classics on Switch is 50% off currently. So can you buy it outright? Or is that like a pack? Oh, it's a package. Yeah. Oh, Atari Where's Classics. It not going down? It's because it's very sensitive to... Oh, bad timing. Oh, smart. <laughs> smart. It's not too bad. Maybe you should mod his system and add an external reset switch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Modding. Ah, that was badly timed. Getting slightly better at this. Patio open? Is patio yes, open? the patio okay. is open, yeah. 
That's they're... probably not the cats. No, I don't think so. That's probably a neighbor. Yeah. We're like, are the cats moving furniture well, upstairs? Well, <laughs> I swear someone was blowing. What are, what are those big horns? Uh, Vavuzula. Vavuzula outside a second ago. I'm glad that was a trend and not a permanent thing for the rest of our lives. Yeah. That was <laughs> so annoyingly not loud and just terrible. Well, oh. Yeah, it's very oh, useful for rage resets. <laughs> we have to pass this first level. I, I, we're, yeah. <laughs> Arena foot, James, frustrating. Yeah. Frustration <laughs> kicking in. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, yeah. It would only encourage him, yes. Reset! Reset! Oh, you... mm. Reset! Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Can you reset? What? Reset, please. Why? Oh, you have to? Yeah. 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 It's a shame. So, a um, we were playing last episode, mm. um, Aardvark, and I did beat Thomas. <laughs> That was a pretty fun game. Um, for a very brief moment. <laughs> but like uh, Billy Mitchell. Like uh, Billy Mitchell. <laughs> at the last second, he swoops in and goes, no. <laughs> With something he saved up. Yeah, exactly. And he uh, he revealed so how he did it well, af afterwards. It wasn't too much of a reveal. It made, made sense. It did? Yeah. Oh, God, that was bad timing. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um... Because of the nature of the way we're playing it, up to five levels, mm. um, at the at the fifth level, you have a bunch of lives built up. Yeah. So what he did is use those lives up before he completed the fifth level mm. by getting as many ants uh, and worms as he could um, before dying. Which makes sense. Yeah. And then completing the level, because you have to complete the level. Yeah. Or you don't have to complete the level, actually. Um, okay. This is as far as I've made it now. So you have to go across again, which yeah. is which you've done before. Yeah. Thankfully, there's a place there that you can rest. Yeah. What just happened? Is there a time limit? Oh, my God. There is God. a time limit. <laughs> okay. All so right. I was talking, so That's we can't okay. do that. we got to keep No, moving. no chatty chatty. No. Nope. Well, basically... Uh... Jesus. <laughs> this is not an easy game. If you're looking at it, it's like there's a lot of factors uh... happening. And the precision, ladder precision is just... It is. It is very precise. I'm not... Rage-inducing. I'm not... <laughs> isn't that a lot of Atari games, though? Oof. I have to say uh, that, that pixel pixel precision. Once you... Should... you, you, It just takes time, right? Once once you... Uh, but it shouldn't be the thing you're Once you you're get it, you're with. okay. Well... The challenge of this game is not to... Let's try and get on the ladder. Wow. It should be like... But once... It's like a, it's like any dudes. of those old school arcade games. I mean, you play Donkey Kong or... or yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. We'll yeah. get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Because this is a good game. Ronister, I, I Ronister just made a comment about Nintendo Switch. I think everything's expensive. I agree with you. It is. Uh, all the games are exceptionally, the exceptionally expensive. Uh, they've um, always, Nintendo games have always been expensive. I, I, I will admit, I broke down and bought Animal Crossing, which was ex <laughs> insanely expensive, but I just couldn't help myself, and I probably won't be buying another game for a while. <laughs> You've got enough games. <laughs> oh, we have plenty, but um, but I do. F yeah, it is. It is very expensive. There we go. It is, it is very yeah, expensive. it was like seventy. It was that um, one not, not but, a premium one, was it? Oh, yeah. No, it was more than 70. I think it was 80 Canadian. What? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, but, At least there's uh, no add-ons you have to buy. The online the the online aspect of it is cheaper than, than well, it's not too bad. And you did, that's where we where I got all the, the Nintendo and Super Nintendo games that they had, which is... It's got to be the last one. Nope. nope. Where is the last one? What just happened? Do I exit now? Do you exit? Up the top? Right? Oh, maybe. Oh, you should jump back. Uh, no, it's two. <gasps> no! <laughs> yeah, that's where you go. Yeah. See, it's open. Oh, it's open. I get you. Anyway. Yeah, you don't have to pay for yeah. add-ons in uh, yeah. Animal Crossing. They're Atari all built 2600 in. games for $50 is not expensive? Well, <sighs> yeah, very expensive. That would be very expensive, yeah. In 1977 or whatever, yeah. that's really expensive. That is really expensive. It's much... Video games have gotten cheaper. 
over time yeah. with inflation. Have a great Sunday, D-Train. Thanks for and coming in. Thanks for popping in. Ah! ah. ah. <laughs> Nathan Strum, I'm still the only one to ever review Alfred Challenge in the Atari Age store. Oh no! Well, we gotta get more of those in. Yeah, I think Al's always asking for reviews. Because there's never enough reviews yeah. of games. But anyway, the Switch is, is a nice system, but... It is, very versatile. Uh, the, the Nintendo's bad for that. I don't find their, um... Their games go down over time. Like the really, the really. Um, no, they don't. They hold their value. Especially if they're their own properties, like the Mario oh, yeah. Brothers and things like that. Yeah. Um, or Mario games, Mario, yeah. Zelda, any of those. They yeah. never go Donkey down in Kong. price. Yeah. yeah, they're crazy. <sighs> okay. You terrified me there for a second. <laughs> it's just. Ugh. You can jump back though, can't you? Nope, because look, look what oh, he does. Oh, that's mean. It's okay. That's mean. Just have to boot it over there. Boot it. Careful. Ooh. I think I can make it. I have enough time now. Ooh, careful. You will fall off if it disappears. Oh, that Just was... Just barely. Oh, the ladders. Careful, you're running out of time. I know, I know. Oh! oh. <laughs> so close. He paused to shake his fist, and, and that, that killed you. There. Oh, no! <laughs> I just want to complete this level. I know, I know. I I'll let do. you complete it. Is, so there's a level after this. Oh, it's I'm not sure. just one sure level over like and over again? Levels or something. Okay. It is definitely a challenging game. But I mean, once such, you get the hang of it. It's such an old game, there's no discussion about it in the Atari age yeah. form, so I don't know how many levels there are. Yeah. Atari's back. Um, Hi! Oh, yes, I know. His tablet is so comfy. <laughs> <gasps> what? Damn it. <laughs> so close is right. <sighs> it says level three in the corner on the last screen, so technically Damn it. he completed the level. I don't know. L2? It no, says that's L2. Lives. That's lives. I lives. Thought it was, I thought oh, it was level two. As how well. nice would that be, eh? Yeah. Yeah. This is just level one, I'm sure. Yeah. It wouldn't be that. That wouldn't be just the game, because that would be way too short of a game. Yeah. I mean, you don't have much time. Like, you, <laughs> you really move. don't. I do like the uh, Pac Man with legs, though. <laughs> he has pretty big boots on. I feel like, you know. He's ready for a rainstorm or something. Oh, yeah. He's got his... Oh, Atari's very excited to be here today. He's purring. Aww. Oh, he's a very happy cat. Go. He's very happy to be immortalized in, uh, <laughs> on t -sh in t -shirt on the zero form. page t-shirt. Yeah. Oh, we did order our own t-shirts, so you will see them. Yeah. Oh. oh um, we got a... Uh, what did yeah. we buy? But, um, Moonwalk up this ladder like a boss. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> we bought one t-shirt each for each of ourselves yeah. of the do two different designs. Yeah. We got a mug of each design. Yes, so we should be able to show them all off. And we got a pillow. We got a pillow. Of the cats. You no, were... no, not the cats. The uh, other design. Mm, I can't remember which one we got. We just wanted to see what it all looks like, you know. Yeah. And we can show it off. Yeah. Got to make sure it's quality, too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Um, I, I know there were a lot of comments about the print on, uh, print on demand and all that, but, um, printing a whole bunch of your own and then selling uh, them is a heck of a lot of work. Never, so. never. I did that before for some other projects and it's like, what you end up with is a, uh, boxes full of t-shirts. Boxes full of t-shirts. <laughs> and because some people won't like one design or yeah. one size you don't have enough of, or one yeah. you have too many Unfortunately, of. it does impact the cost, but, um, yeah. it is a lot more convenient. So. It is. Yeah. And you can make up a lot more designs anytime you want. That's true. Which is a huge bonus for everyone, yeah. really. So it's, it's worth... Oh, you can stay there. Yeah, it looks like a lot of the edges. I don't know about that upper one, though. Yeah, the upper one, too. 
There's a bunch of safe spots. There are, which is good. Like the end of that, which disappears, is a safe spot, but not that end. That end yeah. does not have a safe spot. Interesting. Okay, go down. Yeah, time it. Oh, good job. Go down. Go up. Go up. Oof. Oh my god, the ladders are killing me. Up. Yay! Oh. Level two! And dead! And dead immediately! <laughs> Hooray! This whole platform disappears. Okay, how do I get there? Up there, probably up and over and down. Oh my god. Yeah. Up, yeah. over, yeah. down, yeah. yeah. That's my suspicion. Mm. Ooh. Oh, you're not safe there. Ah. <laughs> no, I'm not. There's not a lot of safety. This might be better to go on the left side of this guy, actually. Uh, no safety there. There's no safety no. on either side. But then you can at least have some time to jump over him. Yeah, careful. Okay. There. And he is no, there's no safety there, so there's not a lot of safety going on in this game. So that flashes, so you have to get on the down. Oh, oh no. We're done. That's it. We well, will revisit this game. I do like it. <laughs> uh, I can now die happy. <laughs> yes. Uh... Gretem says she sells two, of, two or three of those old designs oh, of your, your old t-shirts you were referencing there. Oh, thank you excellent. for keeping those around. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to go hey, to Gretems. the... Um, <laughs> happy birthday, Gretems, by the way. Happy birthday. World debut of Ronister in Space. Hold down the button. A belated happy, happy birthday. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, it's hot in here. It is warm. That camera is going to overheat. Is it? Do, you, do yeah. I need a fan? Do you want me to no. set a fan on it, or is that no. too noisy? No, it's too noisy. It'll Run be a like, stern space! Yep, load it up. You have that tiny little fan. It's noisy. Is Fans it noisy? Fans are terrible. Okay. Um, so this is the exclusive final release by Ooh. Nathaniel uh, Vasconcelos, a.k.a. Dildoflo, and Ronister Marcello. Marcello? Nice. Marcello. Marcello. Oh, After waking Marcello. up from the Berserk's nightmare, our hero Ronister has a new and difficult mission. Oh, nice. Defeat evil ghosts and your legion of phantoms in the real world, both on Earth and in space. Good luck. Evil ghosts. Nice. This is beautiful. Ronister in space. I love the, I love the, the opening fading. titles. The fade in and out is lovely. Okay, I'm scared to start because I don't know what I'm doing, but... There oh, it just... Wah! You shoot them? Yes. Shoot everything. <laughs> Thank uh, you. First posted January 12th, 2020, I believe, in a Facebook uh, group. Ah, ah, ah. This build is from May 3rd, oh. 2020. Oh, he jumps. Uh, it's a 128K game. Other games, Ronister in Space and Ronister at Haunted House, which is a Berserk hack. Um, this is not available yet. Um, we haven't played this before. This is very cool. And he asked me on uh, May th <laughs> beginning of this month, could you play Space uh, Ronister in Space on Zero Page Homebrew? I have the ROM in English already finished, so it will be in uh, English and also, ah. uh, I'm guessing, Portuguese. Um, this ROM is 32K, 16K with Boss, and a four bank switch with four screens with 4K <laughs> each. I'm not being very successful, uh, but it's very cool so far. <laughs> the physical cartridge is 128K, 16K being the game, the rest for mini animations oh instead of still screens. Uh, we updated Nomad, De uh, Nomad Game Dev Games, made new boxes, labels, cribs with craft paper, and more posters for each game. Um, yeah, wait till you see the inserts for this game and his other games they are incredible they look like an atari 2600 um like a four or six switch where the cartridge sits in the middle and it just looks beautiful mm. is this the first 128k batari basic game um that's a yeah. good question i think arena foot would know that more because the only other 128K game that I know of is Penalt, and that is not a Batari Basic game. Oh, Ronister says yes, yes, it's the first 128K uh, Batari Basic game, which is huge. That is like pushing the limits of 
uh, cartridge size. I think the largest thing ever made was 512k, and that is the bad apple. Oh, you jumped it. Good. I'm not doing it intentionally. <laughs> I find it a little. That's the jumping jump. a little is a little sensitive with this joystick. Yeah, you have to shoot both of them twice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, that I'm not. I'm so not it makes quite, it challenging uh, because some of them come right. Well, up the here. jumping ones, I think you want to get it immediately when it's on the screen. Yes. But and I'm. And then I'm, get it on the. Ah. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Restart. Oh, Ronister, gotta push. Make sure you press. Get the button in for restart. Makes it so much better. <laughs> uh, it oh. says the bank switch screens and the physical cartridge were made by W Games. Programming done by me, which is uh, Ronister, and Nathaniel mm. uh, Vasconcelos. <sighs> oh, we're not hearing audio. I well, don't hear it. We're, we're not, not hearing, hearing audio, audio either. either. Is there audio? I don't think there is audio coming yeah. out. Might be an issue is with there? Uh, compatibility with the oh. Atari Junior. Oh, maybe. Because uh, this is the first time I've played it on a console. Um, so I've not tested this on a console you, Have you tested it in uh, Stella? Does it, yep. Is there audio? Yeah, audio in Stella. Oh, so we're just not... Do you want to try restarting it? Um, we can restart we it. We can. Uh, Ronister says there's five stages in the game with the final boss. We'll do it after you, you die. I will die. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting a bit more used to it though. Oh no, Keeps there is audio. Me. Is there? Yeah, it's just really quiet, I guess. Yeah, it's showing up. You guys should hear it. There is. Yeah. Here, I'll turn it way up here. We're not hearing it either. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's that. So I guess it's yeah, just really quiet. I'll turn it up a little bit more. So there's no problems. We're no all panics. good. We're all good. Oh, Packard says I'm hearing sound very low. See, there's a big difference between low sound and no sound. If there's oh. no sound. Okay, now I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> Yes, run a stir. Have to make a restart. <laughs> restart a button. For, this, for, for the old people. The old people. Yeah, old people like us. It's all us. the reaching forward. Yeah. Too much after a while. Oh. So I believe you have to get 20 of them. Oh, got it just in time. Now I'm hearing it faintly. So I guess it's still not super faintly. loud. We're hearing it loudly, but... Uh... Uh, I just turned up some more. Luckily you don't get attacked. I'm, I'm worried that uh, you're going to switch games and suddenly it's oh, going to Oh, I like, am. Whoa. And you're all to blame. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's just a really quiet game, I think. Now it's louder here, and oh, it is very quiet. There, it? there, it should be loud enough now. You have to jump over those guys. Y yeah, I think so. Oh, you can chase them, I guess, a little bit. Yeah, that I helps. think they come from both sides, though. And if you go this way, you will... Well, get, oh, yeah, you can shoot that's twice. a little easier if you're going in the same direction as them. But you won't get that one mm. if you go this way. Yeah. And I don't think any come along the ground if you go to the left. I, I played this a little bit. Oh, did you? There, there we, we go. go. So that's kind of a strategy. If oh, you he says the stage music is not playing. Is there a switch for that? Is Maybe my switch is. I, I take it it's supposed to. Maybe restart? Oh! My ears! Okay, the switches were all messed up and crazy. That's That explains a lot. Now you definitely will not hear the shooting because that was really quiet. Yeah, you can't hear the shooting when the music's on. Sorry! Uh, the music's on switches, so... Oh. Oh, but you can turn it off if you want yeah. to. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Tress says, if you hit a kill an enemy, there should be an audio effect, too. Usually, yes. There's definitely an audio effect when you get hit. Oh, yeah. Which is good. And the red flash is really nice, too. There we go. Yeah, yeah. there's no sounds for hitting the enemies. I feel... I don't think you get any points for 
just shooting once. You only get points for... I really like the Ronister, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I he's like great. the green fatigues, and I, I, I'm not sure what type of gun he's holding, but uh, shotgun. Well, it's I mean, it's almost like a see. bazooka, or it could be just a modern futuristic weapon. So, but I, I do like, I, I like the little hat with the brim and the, yeah. the brown shoes. It's a, and the animation too is really cute. It's really nice. oh yeah, yeah. So, Very cute. I don't know if this is supposed to happen. When you go to the left, the the ghost on the bottom doesn't attack you, mm. which is. Better <laughs> for surviving. <laughs> well, but the the bottom one's easier to hit. True. Like you do have to jump. You do have to jump over it when it comes comes your way. I don't find them too too hard to hit. They come from behind though. Yeah. Well, Are you supposed to go in a certain direction, or I guess you can go no, back and forth? No, you're only supposed to kill. So you're, you're trying to to kill a certain number. Yeah, see, it's okay. easier to hit if, if you if you dodge it, so... That one is the easiest to hit. I think so. you have to get the jumping right. So yeah. let's keep trying that. Nope. nope. Close. Close. Yeah, because you have to get the timing right. Yeah. For the shooting, too. And it does have auto-fire. Ah. Uh, yeah, gotcha. you can get it. Yeah. Neat. Music's a bit annoying. We can turn that off in a bit. For a while. Oh. We want to hear the different if you get to the next stage. <laughs> uh, the, <laughs> the music an and the. Stage. Yeah, no. Well, I think it's very easy to get hit oh. when you're timing. It's hard. Yeah. How many, how many oh, points, how many points do you ten, get? Ten each. Ten? So I've tell. gotten ten. So You've gotten ten. You I need twenty. It's, okay. I think it's twenty. That's doable. That's not. Oh. Just takes. <laughs> okay. easier getting those ghosts. I don't know. So far, I've had better luck getting the ghosts. The higher-up ghosts? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to say. You can still jump and go for them. You can go backwards. Uh, Hit them once and then, then chase them. Yeah. Nope. I'm so. Nope. And then turn back. Yeah. I can only hit them once if I turn around, I think. Yeah? Yeah, so I have to hit them. Uh, accidentally held up too long. <laughs> There, there you go. Okay. That's now a good. I've that's a good tactic. Doubled my efforts now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Me? Yep. All right. Uh, thrust twenty six. Sound effects is really important for feeling to the game immersion. Is there a second level? Yes. He goes into space. I have made it to the second level and testing. Um, it is not easy the first level. But I guess once you get the timing. Oh. Timing well. Ah! Uh, I like that. <laughs> it's a lot easier. The character also shoots back there. Shoots back. Oh goodness, this is this is not. There's some cool. Portuguese in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have an auto translate. Unfortunately, it should. It should oh, be like Google. Two people says the music is getting much. Much them. Okay. That's okay. I like it uh, when you have the option to switch yes. on and off. That is a good option. Um, so we'll um, we'll switch it back on, uh, on the when second level. one of us actually manages to uh, <laughs> make it. Let's see, it must it must um, it must be tracking the number of times I hit it in a row. No. Nope. I don't know. It's just holding it a bit long. Yeah. <laughs> right into it. Oh, this is not going well. <laughs> Ten points. Oh my goodness. I know. I'm my timing is really off. Bye. I need some intense Ronister in space time. <laughs> he hasn't made it to space yet. Oh, there you oh, go. Finally. <laughs> I find those guys a little bit easier. Oh, see, I didn't double jump, but I held it for too long, and it'll go yep. bounce, bounce. Yeah, you gotta be really careful. I know. With that. Okay. No, that guy is is impossible to get. You think? If you no. hit him, if you're able to hit him without getting hit yourself. I don't think you can turn around fast enough. No, and he seems to run oh. faster away from you when you turn around. He's very fast. He is yeah. fast. He only comes once. Oh. It's all in the timing. There we 
go. Ha <laughs> Kathy Mantini back in my day. We use this gadget called radio as our background music. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, no real what? Lot, not a lot of music in the original run of Atari 2600 games. Yeah. At most, they would have like an intro song, like the terrible Pac-Man intro. Do 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> but some of them would have a little bit more. I think. Depends on the game. Like Pitfall 2 was one of the first. Continuous. <sighs> Does, did it have continuous? Yeah, uh, music? it did. Yeah. It had really good music because it had the DPC chip in mm. it, and it was able to do three chan uh, three channels <laughs> three channels of audio, which is amazing. Ah. Uh, you have to get the timing just right. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, if you press the button while you're jumping over that guy that comes on the bottom, I think the timing works well. Mm. Ugh, if you don't hit them. See, mm -hmm. I was able to hit it twice. Then mm -hmm. you do that once. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. The timing's coming now. Getting the timing now. Yep. Oh, Ronister says 300 points. Oh, 30. Wait. Uh, yeah, I... I, I that's going to be a doable. challenge. <laughs> it's doable. Yeah, I'm 30 you're, you're, there. You're, you're getting there now. <sighs> Not if I keep doing that. Kathy Man TV asks, is this game brand new? It is. Brand new. This brand is the first new. look that anybody's had well yes. playing it. Yeah. I mean you've seen he's posted some footage on um, in the Facebook forum. Yeah. Facebook uh, Well, groups. we feel very special yeah. to be given the opportunity to play it. So. Oh yeah. That's very cool. I really like I really like the visual of it. I I just love I love Oh, it is definitely challenging. <laughs> oh, oh, right off the bat. Oh, my God. Do you want me to reset again? Yes, please. <laughs> I, I'm not going to go after that guy because he's he's really hard to get. Like, you can get him one. Stop jumping! <laughs> it's very sensitive jumping. There we go. You can even miss him once and, and get him on the back. Oh my Ron god. Ronister says I die all the time. <laughs> uh, it's, it's it's comforting <laughs> to hear that I'm not just doing really terribly. Oh. I can get him twice on the front. I think this joystick needs needs a little bit yeah, of work. Yeah, I was gonna say, do you wanna try the other the other style of joystick? Do you think it would be more precise? I I I uh, noticed some some issues with the uh, the joystick like the yeah, the stick been, itself. This one's been naughty. It has been the last naughty. little bit. Yeah, the last couple of games. I blame the joystick. <laughs> it's not my my lack of uh, game skill, <laughs> game playing skill. Some some of it is the joystick. <laughs> some of it's the joystick. Some of it's ah. Just it, and I do find some games are better played with a style of joystick like yes. that, an arcade style, and some are, it's easier with a... More precise like a, one. I don't know what you would call it, like a more modern... Um, oh my god. Style Thumb? of uh, game controller. Yeah. Like the... What is it? The D-pad. The D-pad, yeah. Oh my god. You should... Do you have one? Oh yeah. Is that on the door? Yeah. We'll do that. This is... This is not happening with this joystick. Got distracted. Ah. It's a Genesis no. controller. You can move the light. Is it at the far end? Yeah. Yes, there we go. I'll play this game out, and then uh, you're ever we'll switch. To figure out ways to um, organize your controllers. Shoe racks for the backs of doors work really well. Yeah, the plastic shoe hangers with yeah, the little like slots Yeah, like clear plastic vinyl, and it's meant for shoes. They, they fit controllers perfectly. Halfway there. Little controllers, at least. Halfway there. Blame the controller. Perk some coffee. I was just thinking I need my third, so I'm... I'm... Third. Oh, my God. Well, they're small. Okay. And little small copies. Okay. There you go. 
Oh, Better? Already, yeah, it already, already feels more precise. It's because you don't accidentally hit up. Yeah. It's, it's like intentional. That one is like, mm. you know, more of a... I died without going to space to save Earth. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm... Uh, again. Maybe it's... Yeah. I have to run backwards. Too unjumpy. Maybe. <laughs> Your design has been removed from Tee Public. A DMCA notice takedown notice. Atari Interactive? What? I did not use anything to do with Atari. That's funny. Oh my god. That's crazy. They're on a rampage. Because I used the word Atari in my description? I didn't even use the word Atari in my description. No? What was it? My cat's name is Atari. But they didn't take down that one. Are they both gone now? That's bizarre. Just take out the word Atari then. Yeah. It must have been in the description. Like my keywords. That's got to be the reason. Those bastards. So, the Atari company <laughs> <laughs> just removed my t-shirt from Tee Public. Um, because they, th they said it infringed. What is it? Unfortunately, we have no say in our, which designs stay or go. According to our intellectual property policy and the law, we're required to remove designs when a rights holder s sends us a valid takedown request. They, are, they sent you a valid takedown request? For more information, you could check out this article or read the DMCA in full here. That's bizarre. Uh, let's see what they say. Oh, this is just a general. Yeah, it's DMCA. not someone's actual... Um... We're sorry to inform you that an intellectual property claim has been filed by Atari Interactive. Wow. Just from the name. It's not... I didn't... Maybe just from the name. Yeah, I'm, I get not use a tag of Atari. It has nothing to do with Atari's logo. That's bizarre. They don't own the rainbow. Oh my god. I gotta get used to this new one. It's okay. Whatever it is that triggered them. I'm sure it's just automatic. It's not like people are... Yeah, they're not it's got to be just the name. Browsing. It's got to just be the word. They're going for the tags. Yeah. I think I like the other joystick better. I'm very used to it. Wow. So that's a fun time. The cat name killed the deal. Yeah, that's funny. But that it's should not be... because they didn't get rid of the other t-shirt. The, the ones with the Atari is on there still. And I actually put Atari in the description box. Oh, you did? Yeah. Of in... both of them? No. Only on the one with with Atari's picture in it. That's super weird. But they took down both? No. They just took down the big logo. That's bizarre. It says zero page homebrew. Do they own any of that? Or the rainbow? No. I don't think so. That's bizarre. The rainbow is... is I made up that rainbow myself. And it's not even... That's yeah. Activision's rainbow. Well, I guess Atari has... The, the, the rainbow on their Atari Junior yeah. is different rainbow. Because you said Atari in the title, even though no Atari symbol in the product. I didn't. I didn't uh, describe it as an Atari T-shirt. But it's in the title. Was it in the title? Yeah. I don't think it was. Or was it in your tag? It was in my tags. So if you just take down the tags and reload it, then it won't trigger again. I will. I'll just make sure it doesn't say Atari anywhere, and then they can't search for it. Yeah. Because it has nothing to do with Atari. <laughs> nothing. That's it's about okay. The show. It's, 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 I'm sure they just have a bot that goes through everyone's posts yeah. and anything that says Atari, it, it just automatically, without even looking, for without it. even looking for it. I mean, um, with DMCA, you can file a counterclaim, which I'm not going to do. It's not worth it. It's not it worth it. Yeah. Because there's nothing. I don't really care. Um, and they can be fined a lot of money. Oh, really? Yes. Um, for filing, a um, an incorrect DMCA takedown. Really? Oh yeah, it's not good to know. Not something. Not <laughs> if you something want to, you, yeah. Yeah, but then they could go. No, it's an actual real one. Then you have to take it to court. Yeah. And nobody wants to do that, mm. especially not us for a T-shirt that. Well, we you would want about. legal. You would want. You would want to talk to someone legally and make oh, sure yeah. that you have every right to file a counterclaim. I'll, I'll do it. Getting more used to this joystick. Now you're just mad overall. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. I am just mad <laughs> overall. <laughs> Not gonna get that Hello, first Hello, Yes, this game is pretty awesome. 
Yep, very nice looking. Yep, the, um, very much liking it. The scrolling, it's very, very, challenging. very nice. I, I, I love the dude. I, I just love Veronister running yep. through there. Did a great job of yeah. um, representing We're... the army guy with uh, double, double line resolution. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's very good. We're very terrible at playing it. Yeah. <laughs> We're just hoping we can uh, eventually get to the next stage so we can show off the next stage, too. Go. He does have a version of the game where that he sent me. Oh. Where you can't die. Oh, you so can just work. We'll yeah. play a little bit more, and then we'll show you that version. Okay, just to show some of the other. Yeah. Yeah. I think he or may have, you could, you could may play have sent it. that on purpose. Like, yeah, it's a hard game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. um, if you play it in Stella, you could probably see the other levels too, right? Or no? No, you, you have to, you'd have to know what you're doing. Oh, okay. Uh, and change um, RAM things. Okay. You have to change the Fair your enough. score in RAM. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I think we might have to um, play the play the other game. Yeah, the Invincible version. Yeah. It's a hard game. We want to we want to show. A oh, bit more and I keep it. accidentally jumping. Oh my God, my foot! <laughs> oh, my foot keeps <laughs> catching on him. Plug in the other joystick in because I did a lot better with that. Okay, one. fair enough, fair I'm enough. I'm just not used to that controller. <gasps> there we go. Yeah, it will go. There we go. A little bit easier for you. Yes. Yeah, you're way used to easier. it. Now. I'm just so well, used it's, to this. Everyone's, everyone's different, right? Yep. Uh, Doesn't mean I'm perfect on it, but I'm better. Yeah. People are going? What? Hmm? You said people are going? No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Anybody saying anything that's not in Portuguese? Oh, well, Dan ABC just posted, I had a problem with Cafe Press with my Atari Video Club shirts early on. Oh, because you had a, Which the is name why it's Atari? Club ABC online. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah. So it's tricky how they see copyrights, yeah. They just see the word. They just see the word. And which they're is, just triggered by that word, which is not. Which is fine. They they own the company. They own that word. But I I feel Unless like you're using it in a different context. I feel like it's very clear that they're just using the word, and no one's actually looking at. Oh yeah. What's being posted? It's just That's for it's sure. like a bot, right? It's, it is a bot. It's it's which it, is very extremely annoying. You but... think somebody's working on Sunday looking for copyright? No, no, no. it's a bot. For sure. And uh, unless anyone challenges them, it's it's just they're gonna. That's the way they're going to do it from now on, Nobody's right? challenging No. Yeah. Atari's got a lot of money to money. fight it. Yeah. Because they, they sell a lot of products. Yeah. A lot of That's, merchandise. Yeah. And um, that's their whole business right now. Oh, well, of course, Is yeah. selling Atari merchandise. Yeah. And opening up uh, hotels and casinos. Really? And uh, trying to sell a new console yeah well they sold lots of them it's if they if they deliver we'll see <laughs> they haven't sent any out yet so as, as of yes. now it does not exist <laughs> i've seen pictures of it yeah i'm doing much better see i'm at the score best score so far i've got 160 i think mm -hmm. yeah i've got a pattern now I can keep the pattern up. Twelve more. Because I'd rather not cheat in games, if at all possible. Oh yeah. You want to legitimately play the game like yeah. somebody would, you know, buying the game. Yeah. No, that's completely valid. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nope. Close. But uh, we'll fix that T-shirt thing, so everybody can. Uh, yeah, I think that'll be a minor an minor, easy fix. Minor. I, d I think you take the name, you take the word out, and no one's going to care after that. Yeah, because so. they don't own a rainbow that I made. No. <laughs> if anything, Activision uses the rainbows, not Atari. Ah, oh, one more hit. I'm done. 
And I made that rainbow from scratch. I don't think it's the same as the Activision rainbow. I think the Activision one has more colors. I'll have to take a look. Not sure. But both, but both, it, it's definitely a, a word because the other one has um, the rainbow in it too. So they, it was probably word tags, if anything. Hi, Pixel. Okay, there's an in joke from the Brazilians, I think. <laughs> yes. Someone said, About I, me? Need, I need, oh my God. no, 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 I need Nutella's mode. Oh, oh no. Are you going to try again or are you going to put in? No, 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 I can do it. You can do it. Okay. I can do it. For so, sure. what is this Nutella's mode? Because everyone was mode. laughing at, at that. Oh my God. <laughs> Nutella's mode? Nutella. Nutella. Like the spread? The food, the, the spread. Food. I don't think I've ever had Nutella. Never tasted it. It's very good. Is it, it is definitely not healthy. It's just like it just tastes like chocolate, like icing. It, it's right? like it tastes like icing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and people think it's a breakfast breakfast it's food. It's very chocolate delicious. Icing. Well, it's made with it's made with um, hazelnut, so it's right. like a hazelnut like peanut butter. Yeah. But it just has a super ton of sugar, so it's so good. So close, so close. Yeah. So close. I'll get it this time. I was doing a lot better. Oh, don't jump into it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> didn't mean to jump that many times. Are you talking about Nutella? <laughs> we are now. Someone was talking about <laughs> Nutella. Now I've got Nutella on the brain. Things they'll sell to people making them think it's breakfast food. It's crazy. But I guess it's not much worse than all the crazy uh, sugary breakfast cereals that are on the, sh on the <gasps> shelf. Nutella is good. Very easy mode. Nutella means very easy mode. But oh. why Nutella? Why <laughs> Nutella. is that associated? Is it because it's like a kid's food? Kid's food? Nutella mode? Yeah. I just like that. It's very cute. but Because uh... in the early... Very easy um, mode. Atari games, they had a little bear symbol oh. for kids mode. Oh. Um, is the bear from Nut is a Nutella mascot too? I don't know I don't about know. that. But, um, I just like that. I like that Nutella mode. That's I've, I've never heard that before. Neither have I. Must be a, a I'm localized gonna thing. That. I'm going to use that. <laughs> I always need the Nutella mode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this game has any modes. It's just play it. Yeah. Play it or don't play it. Yeah. Or never die mode would be Nutella mode. Yeah, that definitely would be. That'd yeah. be cheating mode, though. Is it cheating really a mode. game? Oh, my God. Stop jumping. <laughs> you hold it one second too long, and it's like, jump, jump. Yeah. Thrust 26, I'm 55 and still into Nutella mode. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I know. Like, You're I pretty like good Nutella at games. Mode. I like Nutella mode. Lost half my life now. I like chocolate frosted sugar bombs for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> chocolate frosted sugar bombs. <laughs> is that from Calvin and Hobbes? Yeah, I think it is. I think it was. His, oh, I love. His cereal was something like that. It was out like a crazy. Oh! Stop it's... jumping! <laughs> jump when I say jump. There. Oof. 14 more. I think somebody's doing spring cleaning. Oh, someone's sweeping up there. Yeah. We have our, our it's quite a nice warm day. Really warm, actually. Uh, Camera's going to go out any a lot second. Of, is it? For sure. It's really hot in here. Yeah. What's the temperature? Oh, it says it's only 24. Okay. It's It's Act been worse. Above it's been 24, worse. the camera goes out. Yeah, 24.5, actually. So. Okay. Oh, I got hit again. It's warm, but it has been worse. I remember when we had our, um, was it the marathon, the four of yeah. us? Oh, man, that was, that was that warm. That was toasty. That was a toasty day. And we had fans running. Oh, we had to. We had to. Yeah. Marathon, marathons in the summer are probably not the best idea. But... No. Winter marathons, that's when you yeah. plan them for. And although we do have, hey, we're getting there. Six more to go.
Ronister, this is a hard game. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Four more. Now I want Nutella. I'm <laughs> going to I'm going to run up and get some coffee, well, but I want to see you uh see if you make the uh, We did make mini donuts. We did actually. With chocolate icing. So, so we'll be having some of those. We'll be swinging by to drop off some donuts for the mothers in our life. Um Yes. A little bit later today. And yeah. uh we were thinking what should we bake? We should make something. And donuts! we made yeah. little baked mini donuts with chocolate glaze. <laughs> mm. And they're basically mm. Nutella. They're, they're one more. Chocolate covered sugar bombs, so You. Yeah. Oh, oh he's know. up in space now. This is where I died. This is hard part. Actually, not this part. It's the next part. Actually, not this part. There's a boss, and the boss isn't too bad. And then it's the thing after the boss. It's the really crazy part. Mm. This one's this one's easier than the first level, actually. Because it's it's one shot, right? One yeah. shot kills them. You can pretty much hold down the button. And move <laughs> almost or you have to move to them yeah not even attacking you this should be the first level <laughs> <laughs> you have to actively go to them and get them i honestly ranister i think if, if it was fewer if it was like yes. 200 might be a little bit easier for that first I level. I think that's a more reasonable number. Not to be not to be critical because I do like the game, but it is hard to get past that first one. <laughs> it's really hard. It is okay, hard. now we're on level three, the boss. Oh no, no, it's not. This is this is deadly. Is this it? is it. There's no boss. Uh I barely this is pretty. The background's gorgeous though. Are you on an alien world? Is this the idea? Maybe it's not this level. I think you have to jump Oh, that's each so time pretty. I love the colors. I think I'm going to keep shooting. Yeah, you're definitely on the street. Like, <gasps> oh, they're fast. Are they always coming from behind? I'm going to go this way. That's better. Oh, smoosh. How are you supposed to get that one? Timing of your shots off. I'm not going to bother with those guys up there. They're just not too yet. fast. Ah, no, but he's going up and down. You have to. I'm my shots properly. Yeah. And is it a straight? Maybe don't hold it straight, like. Uh, maybe. No, you have to dodge him. Go on that really fast. Really hard. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. Beautiful though. Yeah, the city skyline. I love the background, skyline. the city cityscape, and. Seems to be staggered though, like the timing's just a little bit off with the buildings. Actually, we have a is building it? like that in Vancouver. Yeah, we do. The, the color timing is just mm. slightly off. Can you jump on this level? Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. No ducking, but you can jump. <laughs> but I don't... Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Nice one. Maybe if I keep doing this. Is there a pattern to them? I don't want that... that um... Oh, yeah, there we go. I've found a pattern. Sort of. Oof. Oh, my God. I'm just going to keep firing. <gasps> ah, those guys are awful gonna die one hit left you're doing very well though uh, yeah. accidentally <laughs> <laughs> go a little to the right and back to the left yeah that's a little to the right back to the left okay there's some cat okay No, no, no. Uh, I have to start all over again. Which is not going to happen because that's just really hard, that first level. Yes, graphics are beautiful. So is that level three then? This one and out of five? That was a quick level space. Well, it's it's this was easy level. You're able to kill them really quick. Hi. Hi, Pixel. Hi, 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 hi. Um, so is that the third out of five levels? Um, hey, Impaler. Yeah, it has been a while since you've been here. So thank you very much, Ronister, and all the people, all the other people who um, made this game possible and letting us play it. 
Um, it's very, very difficult game, very challenging, but obviously not impossible to make it to third level. Um, play the Immortal ROM. Uh, the graphics must make up most of the 128K. Yeah, like the um, the intro screens. And I bet there's some outro screens. Yeah, maybe we should play the Impossible one, or the Immortal one, so that we can show off the rest of it, because obviously he, was li he would like us to do that. Oh, Mr. In Space... Copy that one over. And eject. Pop that in. Yeah, I think he said each of the animations is a 4K. Uh, At the beginning. 16K and the rest of the... Oh, so the game is 16K. And the animations are the rest of it. So, which one is it? It should be that one. Yep. Immortal. Immortal. Okay. The sound is a lot louder on this one. I think there's some changes made between the two. A lot louder. Very interesting. See, now you can't die. So that means I should just go to the right. We're just going to blaze through this. So I'm just going to hold to the right and get the ones that are um, on the bottom. And I should be able to get every one of them if I time it up right. You're very welcome, Ronister. We do want to show off the, as much of the game as you want to show. Because sometimes the... Um, Game makers don't want to show off, show off the whole game because then, you know, everybody's seen the whole game and they want to keep a secret for uh, for uh, the people who buy it. But sometimes it's good to show off the whole game to show all the work you put into it. So that's six. Seven. I don't think I'd get that one. Those ones as fast. It would just take longer than just shooting the bottom ones. Seven, eight, twenty-two more. <laughs> twenty-two more. I I do think that should be reduced down to. I think I I agree with Tanya. Should be reduced down to twenty of them, just because of the length. And it's also very challenging. I think even twenty would be challenging. If it's possible still. I don't know how where you are in the manufacturing yeah, process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because 30 is not impossible. No, no. It's very doable once you get a good pattern and you understand the way to shoot them. Yeah. It's just a little long to get 30 of them. Yeah. Compared to the next level, which is quite quick. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You could actually yeah. increase the number on the next level, yeah. I think. Yeah, I think you could, yeah. yeah. But and, it's, it's still good. And that is yeah. the joy of uh, the beta testing and doing this kind of live... Um, yeah. showing off of the games you can sh get a sense of yeah. what kind of game balance you need for it yeah things that are too hard things that are too easy too long too short can you see him <laughs> yeah he's uh, playing with a spring he's playing with a spring yeah you can buy the most expensive toys for these cats and it's oh he's got his mouth <laughs> but you get these like cheap plastic springs and it's like the most fun they have with any toy Is that we springs. found. Yeah. They're just plastic. They're, they're like so, so cheap. And he's mangled it. It doesn't even look like a spring anymore. <laughs> the other things I love is like this little <laughs> bit of cardboard that's on a wire. Mm. So it looks like this bit of cardboard is kind of flying around in the air because you can't see the wire too easily. Or you uh, move it along the ground, and they love it. They go nuts. It's the things they go mm. nuts the most for. The spring is the thing they played the most by themselves with. Yeah, I uh, guess it's already in physical cartridge. So okay, it's, it's done. It's done. Okay, it just means you're gonna have to get used to this first level to to. <laughs> that's right. To progress, but that's okay. 
It's not impossible, as James oh, has shown. So. Can you read out the rest of it? Because there's uh, information. Already in physical cartridge, the game has 16K complete, and with final boss made with the help of programmer Ricardo Pym, and the rest of the 128K are animations on the bank switch fared by the, pro or fared? By the programmer Wilson Gutierrez. Nice. Nice. Fared? Fared. Finished, maybe? Finished. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, Sorry. <laughs> he speaks better English than I speak Portuguese. Yes, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak any Portuguese. <laughs> Gonna have to have to learn a, a few words. That's right. This cat, man. Is Portuguese uh, spoken only in Portugal and Brazil, or I bet there's some other places yeah. that Por Portugal conquered yeah. in its travels. Yeah. Obviously, Spain did a lot of traveling. <laughs> uh, screens and drawings were made by Ronister. Along nice. with Nomad Game Dev programming by programmer Natianel Vasconce Vasconcielos. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> yeah. Vasconcielos. One more, and we're on the next level. There we go. Nice little ship come. Good job. I love that. I love Good the job. little interstitial animations. It so was excellent teamwork, yes. I, I agree. I love the levels and the diversity of the levels too, yeah, which is really nice in Atari games. Yeah. So many games are the same level over and over with slight variations, but this is actually different gameplay for like this level is quite different yeah. than the previous one. And, and it's nice to have that diversity in a game. And a lot of them don't have transitions like this one does, yeah. which is nice because it shows how you get from level yeah. to level. It's not like, oh, how did Mario get from this part of the game to this part? And I'm a fan of the um, description at the beginning too. Like you have you have oh, that opening yes, screen with is setting setting the um, the game up, yeah. and you don't get that with a lot of Atari games, which I think is really nice. Cinematic, a cinematic, <laughs> cinematic opening. Yes. Yeah. Kitty. You having fun? Go get it. Oh. Oh, that one killed me. <laughs> I don't think he did actually. He well, didn't no, flash I'm, red. Because I'm immortal. Oh, you're immortal! <laughs> See, and then he flies so to the city it. again. Nice. And that's why you got through it so fast. Yes. Oh, yeah, you can get those top ones, because they only take one shot. They're faster, but they only take one shot. Oh, I got that one, actually. Oh, wrong direction. Oh, he's going nuts. He's going nuts in there! Oh, I should have gotten the top. I should have gone for the top ones. They're actually... They're easier to get? They're not easier to get, but they're well, not. They're similar to the to first, get. the first level. It just looks. I only have to get one shot on them. That's the oh. difference. So you have a. Yeah. How oh, come I'm killing those ones now so easily? Because there's no pressure. There's no pressure. Yeah. You're like I. I don't care if I get hit. <laughs> exactly. You just. Oh! Oh! That one missed me. I think. Yeah, it jumped it over bounced. you. It did jump over you. Oh. That one killed me. Or got me anyway. I like how even though you're in, in um, no die mode, you're still keeping track. You're like, oh, that hit me, that hit me. Oh, it's important because if you're going to play the game um, yeah. properly, you've got to know yeah. whether you're actually doing well. So I've got hit twice so far, I think. Mm. I think we can... Actually, I might be able to make this one legitimately if I was playing so far. I don't know how many you have to get. Probably 30 again. Oh, that one got me. That's three. That one might have gone. How much was the last one? 100? 200? Um, I didn't keep track. Oh, oh, that one bounced over me. Oh, that one might have killed me. It's quick reaction. It's like the... <laughs> it is very quick reaction. The reactions. game we were playing the other day. Uh, <sighs> what was that called? Where you're the purple guy running across the land? Oh, yes. Super quick reactions you need in that one. Uh, I, got me. I can't remember. That looked like the werewolf running, right? Yeah. Uh, it's not really a werewolf, but yeah. It's terrible. I can't <laughs> remember what happened, you know, three days ago. But um, yeah, that, yeah, very similar, because similar side-scrolling running yeah, across, yes. and, and you can go both ways, yeah. Yep. Similar similar mechanic, I guess, sort yep. of, of gameplay. A lot of early games, sort of you could only go to the right. This one, you can go either way. I like that. I yeah. like that. It changes the gameplay a little. Actually, I wasn't doing very well going to the left. Yeah. The ones that were bouncing always got me on the bottom. And you didn't get any very many straight on ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one got me. I think I'm almost dead. But I'm 
getting a lot more than I don't know time. if you can hear there's an ice cream, ice cream truck going by in the background <laughs> <laughs> so theoretically I should be going to 900 if there's 30 you have to get on each level and they're all worth 10 I don't think I had to shoot that many on the second level though the next phase after space we come back to the berserker nightmare bridge Oh, okay. Oh. That sounds interesting. Interesting. Berserker Nightmare Bridge. The, well, we started on the bridge, right? So. Oh. 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 There's the ship. Ooh. Take us into space. 850. So it's not always. Nice. So. Oh. oh. Boxes, labels, instruction manuals, crib, and post server games are in a new box. He calls the um, the uh, inlay the crib, which is kind of a neat little. The inlay. Oh, okay. Like a crib for a baby. It's, ah, it's, gotcha. Because it cradles the, the cartridge. Crib. I like that, yeah. That and the telemode is... is the telemode. I've learned a couple of things today. Thank you. <laughs> and it looks gorgeous. Wait till you guys see it. The, the crib. Or the in the inlay? The, the insert. Or the insert, yeah. Yeah. I like, I like oh, it so much, I think this every... Oh, this is definitely harder. They're more harder. all over the place. More chaotic. Yeah. It's cute. I love him in the spaceship, too. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Really Great. good plan design on that. Yeah. You don't see that. You usually see just a spaceship or a guy. Not yeah, a guy in, in a, a spaceship. spaceship. Yeah. Curious of the boss. Your pay, your pay days? Oh, oh, we're going back down. Oh, yeah, it is kind of a... Oh, it is jumping still. I thought it was a movement. Okay, so... What is going to happen here? Is this like the other two levels? Yeah. Yeah. Similar, just faster. different background. Hopefully just one hit still. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like the third level. Again. A different background. Third level? Where you only have to or hit the them once. first one. The first, third, and fifth, I guess we're at. Yeah. Are very similar. Oh, they're just faster and there are more of them. Yeah. yeah I don't think we'd be getting through this without the... Uh, they never die. They never die mode. Never die. I think so. Oh my god, yeah. This will be death for sure. <laughs> Last stage before the final boss. Evil ghost. Yay. I'm excited for the evil ghost. Is he a big okay. ghost? He's going to be one of those things that are just huge. Like quadruple size. And I guess he, it would be in the spaceship again, I bet. Oh, if, if the pattern. Can you get the cat, yeah. please? Yeah. <laughs> Huh? You're gonna make. He's fluffing things up. Nope. Right. Oh, you're full of beans. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Wreck it, pixel. Calm down. Calm down. He's a wreck it pixel. <laughs> That's a good word, good name. Um, somebody made wreck it Ralph for the C64. Oh yeah. It's actually not bad. I mean, they just made it after the video game that was in the uh, in the movie. So it's a very simplistic, early 80s style game, but like mm -hmm. really good graphics. Beyond what, well, arcades would have that good graphics. But you're basically fixing windows while he's throwing things down at you and avoiding birds that are flying past. And there's like a grid of 16 windows that you have to hammer together. Mm -hmm. It's not terrible. A bit repetitive. In collect can you take that out? The global physical cartridge is still on sale. This is from Master Official. Is this actually on sale right now? Can you buy this right now? I didn't know. And how do you get it? Yes, both of those things are important questions. <laughs> yes. Because yeah. he didn't pass that to me, that info. Mm. So if you could post it. Um, the address and how to get it or who to contact or the Facebook account. Because I'm yeah. sure people want to know. Yes, everyone is like Link. Arena Foot says like, Master like. Official. I mean, part of it is showing off the game. The other part is that people want this game. Yeah. And where do they get the game? Yes. Ah, the effect of the dying ghost was made by Nathaniel Vasconcelos. Oh, when they float up? Of the dying ghost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's very cool. They turn white and they float off the screen. I like that. Which is nice because is a nice. lot of enemies, when you shoot them, they just they disappear, disappear. Or, like, literally just disappear or, yeah. or explode. 
but like floating up like a ghost. That's very cool. Yeah. So I think we're pretty close to the end of this yeah. level, I would think. Hopefully you're close to the... There's a lot of guys you have to shoot. This would take a lot of practice to get past this part. Mm. It's still not impossible, but I think that's the biggest problem, that one that jumps up and down, because he's really fast to try and hit or dodge. Mm. Come on. Oh, Ronister, let me know if the music is different on each level. Mm. Ronister official uh, says in Facebook, so I guess I guess it, you contact him through Facebook. Yes. Mm. Which Facebook groups? It says well at Ronister Gamer, but I don't know. Oh, that's his Facebook ID. Is it Facebook ID? Ronister Gamer. I'm, okay. That sounds about right. Okay. Good. Good. Should also definitely post in the Atari Age forums. There's lots of people in there mm. who would want to uh, check out the game. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, Ronister. It's <laughs> a lot of guys you have to kill in this level. <laughs> We're getting there, though. Must be. You want to see that evil ghost? It would take a ton of practice. There we go. Oh, oh my god. Here we go. Is this the boss? Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god. Oh, he's awesome. So he, he keeps following you, so you have to keep moving. Oh, that's cool. That he is auto cool. turns. He auto turns. Oh, I love how he's changing colors. Obviously, that you're you're getting his health down. So Let's I'm see. just holding the button down and moving, and the um, your guy automatically turns towards. That's very cool. The enemy, which is very cool. So what you want to do is you go back in a line. And then get away from him. And then turn around and get away. It's hard to tell whether he would have hit me. Because some of the times it looks like he might. He might be on top of you. Yeah. Woo! I bet that's a lot nice. harder than it looks. Very nice. Nice yes. colors at the end. Oh, I love the colors. Utilizing all the Atari 2600 yes. uh, shades. Da-da-da! It? Yeah, I think that's it. Hooray! Yay! The boss! So that's Evil go uh, Ghost. Oh, and there's his WhatsApp if you want to connect to him there. Hey, Ricardo Pim. Yeah, newborn. Well, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> and happy Mother's Day. <laughs> yes, happy Mother's Day. Yeah. To, your, to your wife or partner. Yes. <laughs> or to you. Or to you. <laughs> Okay, uh, here we go. Zeroing in in normal mode is really hard. I do not I like that. doubt that at all. Like yep. Thank you so much for, for uh, sending oh, your game yeah. over. And, yes. uh, it's a lot really of fun, fun checking out yeah. all the different levels. So now, we're going on to the fourth game. Oh, third oh, game? I just randomly hit something. Third game? Third game. Low Res Racer. How do I go back By again? VHZC. Up, right? Up. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Vladimir Zuniga first posted September 1st, 2018 on Facebook, mm -hmm. and this build is from the same day, because this is the only version he's released. It's a 4K game. Other games, Dory Me, Draco, Iran, Knight, Guy in Low Res World, Low Res Racer, Ninjish Guy, Peril, and Roach in Space. You can download this on Facebook. He's never posted about this in the Atari Age forums. Um, he says, Low Res Racer Beta is a simple Beach Your Time racing game. Link in comments. That's all. That's all he's ever said about this game. Okay. Um, so I don't think it's in very late stages, but I do want to play all the games by VHZC okay. on the show, just so we can be complete about it. Uh, right. And maybe he'll We're continue... Uh, VHZC completion. Yeah. So yeah. very nice. Ah! Oh, did you oh. press the button? Yeah. Didn't even comment on the title screen. I'm not moving, though. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. You're bad. What am I doing? Am I shooting? No, I'm just dodging. <gasps> ah, stop it. We will get back to the title screen. Uh huh. You get mad at me, and then sometimes you're sitting there going, <laughs> like, well, press the button. It's like. <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, that's hard on the eyes. <laughs> so he says it's just a simple uh, racing game. Oh, it looks oh, like that is hard to see. your progression is on the right. Yes, I see a that. A little bar where he's probably using the same he's using the same color as the, the your car. So that is probably um, the missile. Too wide. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the car would be eight wide. And then the enemies are the other player, and the background is is the play field. This is wow, really challenging. And he's <laughs> using the ball as the end. And he's got a blank blank line on the top, which is very interesting. Why there's a big blank area. Ronister says, "What a cool racing game." Yeah, yeah it's, really, it's a cute little thing. They do move a little bit. Oh, oh now we're into the third. I, I have to say though, the the. Oh, that didn't last long. That's better. Oh da, da, da. yay! One twenty-five. So it's by, seven. based on time. Right. Very simple. Very nice. Oh, that's hard, a little hard to see when it goes. Woo. It's a lot of movement. It is. Sorry, that's hard on my eyes. Oh, oh. VHNC. <laughs> Chastise any, all the programmers <laughs> that don't allow button presses. Oh my goodness. What happened? It's quite a. There we go. Oh oh my god! Okay, Wasting it time. It already started. Oh. Wow. You're gonna get five seconds on me already. Why the top lines blanked out? Reminds me of bump jump. Uh, bump jump, uh, spy hunter. Reminds me a lot of. Mm -hmm. Then ABC says, "Nice racer." Reminds me of a few arcade racers. Yeah. yeah. Especially the, the the shapes of the cars are really nice, mm. actually. Oh my goodness. Let's go for your tactic. Stay on the right here. This I just find hard to look at. Uh, for me. I it do is have a lot of movement with, with with flickering and flashing sometimes. So. so there is a a spot in the middle of the screen where you don't actually need to move, even though the sides are moving quite a bit. Until the car moves over and gets you. Oh. And they come and just like S Spy Hunter, it's so hard to avoid them because you're going so fast. But I think tactically it's better to just pin the gas pedal over in the last stages. Yeah, good oh, job. Oh, bitch by bet. I was very slow, especially in the wavy parts, so. I want to play this race. Well, yes. very good. Yes. Excellent. Um, yeah, you beat me by a little. I'm going to start again. Start. Oh, to see the beginning screen? Can you uh, press the screen? button? And yeah, I'm yeah. just going to um, just press the button. Press? Reset. Off, right? No, 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 no. No, but you wanted to uh, see the, the beginning oh, screen. Oh, I see. Yeah. Apologies. It's okay. That's true, because we can't see the... You, uh, you, oh, you, you, you just got mad at me for clicking through it. <laughs> I did. So we didn't get to see it. And it never comes back. Mm -hmm. Low res racer. And it's Cute. got the flags on the side yeah, for when nice. you're finished. It's got the HZC. Nice. And I get to play properly. Yeah, that's what I mean. Let's start from the beginning. It didn't like that when we hit reset. No. No. That's what happens when you don't have your line count it's really a little solid. Off, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yep. That it played, it just took just a while. Because it had to go, oh, What's what is going this? On? What is this line count? I have to adjust. Now I have to adjust back because now it's different again. You see, this oh dude, I had the same problem. I was running into them quite a bit. Yeah. You don't have much time. And sometimes they shift. They do. And sometimes you just oh. have a good run and sometimes it's not great. But, uh... Actually, look Curl at this. G, yeah, it, the curves almost don't impact it because you don't. can. You can but ride if you, the curves. If you if if you stay right in the middle, yeah, but it slows you down. It's Doesn't definitely it's, yeah. I think it uh, is. Not if much. you were able to stay in the middle and not hit the cars, you would be faster. For sure, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's hard to, because technically stage. the curves mean that you have a narrow path to follow in the middle. <sighs> so you're but not you, you're not really reacting to the curves, uh, but. You can, you can, as James just showed, there we go. run in the curves. Yeah, and it slows you down a bit, but it it's does. better than hitting a car. But you are definitely slower uh, this round. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you're definitely slower than the last one. <sighs> just by a little. Okay. Well, that's it for that game, because there's not. Okay. Unless you want to play again. No, 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 it's fine. Yeah, it's good. Because you had a bit, it was a bit hard on your eyes. It was a bit hard on my eyes. <laughs> um, it cool, looks really cool. Cool little game. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's going to continue it on. Maybe mm. you can add more to it 
I think it needs to be a little bit wider mm. to be able to deal with the other cars because mm -hmm. it's really hard. But if it's too wide, then it's too easy to avoid them. I don't know if power-ups or anything would add to this because it is just a racer. Mm. It's just, just a racing game. I think it is what it is. Uh, it doesn't really need much more. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to get to Amoeba Jump, Yay! our last game of the day. Press the button. Uh, oh, yeah. This was uh, released on uh, in box in 2019. This is the 2020 Harmony Games number three. Go for it. Um, round number three. And this is the final version, right? This is not the final oh. version because I we had the final version. We do, but we can't play it because the final version would not be released into the forums. So oh, I see. This is for the Harmony Games. Yeah, yeah. so this okay. is version 1.3 if you want to compete okay. um, for high scores. Um, this one's available for anyone because okay. they want to make sure that everyone can take part in it. And there's the... There's the box for Amoeba Jump. So um, cute. Let's just switch over here. Nice. There's the beautiful box. And we're going to open it because we haven't opened it before. Because I've been kind of waiting for a good excuse to play each of these games. All right. Um, but you can go ahead okay. and play it, and I'll read out and kind of unbox it. Oh, it's been a while. And it's a very simple game. <laughs> you just make sure you land on things. Yeah. And, and collect the letters. This is going to take uh, Amoebas have a bad reputation, which is totally unfair. Almost all of these single-celled creatures just like to eat bacteria, not brains. Did you know that amoebas don't have a fixed body shape and move around by changing the shape of their pseudopods? which they also use to gather food. Amoeba Jump stars Mr. and Mrs. Amoeba, two, Mr. Fri <gasps> two Mr. friendly Mrs. microbes who enjoy eating bacteria pretty much indiscriminately. You have to help them jump up the platforms and eat all those delicious bacteria. The bacteria start at, um, now, yeah, at a thousand points. There you go. You have to spell amoeba along the bottom. Poodle Jump. Poodle Jump, yeah, that was another that was That was one iteration of this game for a very short period of time. Um, Amoeba Jump is the first Atari game developed by Dion Ulstone. He in initially planned to build this game for the Commodore 64, but after reading the book Racing the Beam, he decided to buy an old Atari VCS and challenge himself to write a game for this strange, limited, but wonderful machine. Oh! oh 2497. Not bad. Oh! That's great. Oh, that's much worse. <laughs> You're still playing Amoeba Jump? That's awesome. Yes, it is. Oh. Download re Low Res Racer on his OneDrive at. Thank you, Rena Foot, for pasting that link in for people who want to play the last game. Let's try and open this without destroying it. So I picked this up. Uh, the same time, I interviewed uh, Dianoid. So if you want to check out the interview with Dianoid, um, definitely take a look on YouTube back a couple um, releases, episodes. Oh. So you get a nice manual with the same graphics. And a beautiful cartridge with the same graphics. This is a 4K game. In my opinion, one of the best 4K games ever released. So much fun packed into a small amount. Uh, most people don't like reading video game instructions and just want to plug in the cartridge and start playing. So just go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Use your joystick as a controller, move left and right to jump on other platforms, and make some really high jumps by hitting oh. the mushroom shaped... Oh, what was that score? Oh, it wasn't that great. Oh. No. The... And you're ready to learn a few tricks. Come back and read these instructions. You want to use the other joystick? Um, might be easier. I don't mind trying it. Right. I, I'm not... Uh, I don't know if it's easier... I mean, the arcade stick isn't bad. Yeah. You can try uh, it, though. However, you have to first jump up the platforms and earn a thousand points before those delicious bacteria start appearing. Uh, Mr. Amoeba has two pseudopods on his head, which he uses both for jumping and eating bacteria. He's got little bouncy things on his head. Ooh. And you can move about half the screen across. Half the screen, yeah, yeah. that's about right. And you can, remember, you can go across the screen. Yes. Um, yeah. A's are very important to get because there's two A's. 
that you have to get. So if there's any letters that you're going to get, try for the A's. I do find this, it's weirdly, it's fun and both relaxing and tense at the same time. <laughs> it is. Especially game, when you are jumping on the mushrooms because you have to really watch what's going on on the screen when you start to slow down. And the challenging part is when you're just slowing, some one you're aiming for will just go off the screen and then you have nothing to land on. Yeah. I find that's one of the hardest parts in this game. <laughs> There's a lot of wigglies going on here. <laughs> Me or the... Uh, the the your little creature you're wiggling him around. I'm trying to get him all in the right place. Ah, oh, 32, 32 13. 13. Are you gonna read through more of it? Um, yeah, I'll give you a row because right. it's it's good to it's do easier. it in a row. Yeah. Yeah, and then pass it. Yeah, fair enough. This game uses the joystick controller. You only need to move left and right during the game. Push the fire button to restart the game after you die. Oof. That's right, Dionoid. Push the fire button to restart. That's how you do it. <laughs> James. <laughs> I'm just I, I should I should write It's out a, just a pet peeve, I know. No, no, it's important. <laughs> I should write out a, a best practices um white paper. White paper? For from the guy who's never written his own a, game. Exactly. Mm -hmm. From a from a player's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> no. But that is one of my oh, biggest shit. things. Like make the button a yeah, reset yeah it, it it is it's one of those things i think every every child growing up was like oh you have to keep running to the console to yeah. start a new game oh come on <laughs> getting jumpy now the uh the game options are not too bad using the buttons because you're usually playing the same game option over and over again um oh, come on. and menus are added quite quite a bit to the uh, memory usage so I can understand not doing menus as um, part of your game and making them on the switches, but pressing the button to reset is like number one must. It's just a pet for you. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> uh, two player alternating. Now this version we're playing does not have two players. This is not an alt. Yeah, because it's is for this the, the high score, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the cartridge form, it has two players. Um, and you can also pick Mrs. Amoeba ah. to play in the cartridge. Uh, press Game Reset on, on the Atari to get the title screen again. There you can select two-player alternate, alternating mode by either pushing Game Select Switch or moving the joystick in any direction. So he did built it in. You don't have to use the, um, uh, the buttons on the console. Uh, this introduces Mrs. Amoeba, who gets the first turn in the game ladies first of course <laughs> how to play amoeba jump is a vertical jumping game where your objective is to guide the amoeba up a never-ending series of platforms without falling the higher you get the higher your score will be there are three different type of platforms oh, shoot. yellow these are basic stable platforms which you start off with yellow why am i being so jumpy <laughs> white these are unstable platforms that disappear after you bounce off of them once and um the ones in the original um, iOS game broke away. And that's a little too much for this little system to handle. <laughs> or it would add a lot to uh, making it. And then there's the blue ones, which you did get up to? I don't know. Uh, uh, that move back and forth. Not this time. Not this time. Yeah, the blue ones move oh, back no. and forth. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did get to the moving back and forth ones. Just, just. These platforms are harder to hit because they move back and forth. And even when you land on them, you still have to keep moving because you're jumping and they move out from under you. Cafe Man 2D says it's a fun game to watch. It, it is a lot of action going on. It's a lot of movement. And you're you just, you just die. Like, I'll like, watch. it's like, <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, you're doing really well, but you don't get a second chance. It's like, uh, no, there's one life. These poor little amoebas mm -hmm. only get one chance. Yeah. And now she just needs a B. Ugh. And then after you get that, ah, uh, you, you, nope, still gone. Um, you can you can start reading. Yeah. Jumping. No, I'm just uh, where? How are, how are we jumping? Jumping on red and green mushroom push buttons will give oh, you a this short is all burst. Twisted off. 
I know because I keep, I keep. Oh my goodness, no wonder. <laughs> um, jumping on red or green mushroom push buttons will give you a short boost and some bonus points, but best of all, it makes a little a, the little amoeba rejoice. When your <laughs> score gets beyond a thousand points, little white oval shaped bacteria start appearing on the platforms. Didn't we read this already? Which uh, can be eaten the by back, the amoeba. Each bacteria holds one of the six letters of the world, the word amoeba. Collect all six in the single next time you jump on a spring, you will get a super boost. Collect all six, kids. Oh my oh. god. The screen wraps around, which means that the amoeba can leave one side of the screen and immediately reappear on the opposite side. You're going to need this to reach some platforms. Yeah, because they get sparser as you go. <laughs> they do. And then you, you have to be a little bit more um, thoughtful about where you're going to uh, land next, so... So now I'm in the realm of the letters. So, scoring. Your score is displayed at the top bar and simply increases as you get higher. As soon as you surpass the current high score, your score will start to blink. Mm. You will receive bonus points for uh, Red Mushroom. You get 50. A combo, jumping from one push button into the next. Oh yeah, so any mu any mushroom you get 50 points, and then if you get a combo you get another 50. Mm. And then eating a white bacteria gives you an, an additional 20. So, so Amoeba Jump supports the Atari Vox or Save Key for saving your high score. Which Strategy. Oh, so now I've got the B. Good. So now you just Yay, get amoeba. one of those. Yeah, I wasn't he goes much. nuts and he goes all colorful. And, and you go... now you're in the hard, 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 hard level. Hard, hard level is oh it, it becomes all all platforms that disappear oh i almost died yeah there. the controls of this game are pretty straightforward and the best strategy is to look for a good landing platform after you make a high jump using the mushroom push buttons another trick is to make use of the screen wrapping feature this allows you to easily reach platforms on the other side of the screen however it takes practice to fully control this when you reach a certain score, you will enter screens of all white or all blue platforms. If, fir if you first collect all letters from the bacteria and then time your super boost jump wisely, you can just fly past these screens That's with difficulty. That's what you really want to do. Yeah, because this is this is challenging. You can't jump on anything twice, and if you end up in a sparse area, it can be very, very yeah. challenging. And it's only a thousand long, so you do you can go past it. Yeah. And that's when you should save it up, but I'm not that uh, clever yet. Uh, you do, you, I mean, between not using the power boost and waiting, sometimes it's just better to use the power boost, but... Yeah. Yeah. Other stuff. Amoeba Jump is the first Atari game developed... Oh, I think you've said this already. I have. It yes. repeats on the cover. I read the okay. cover out. Nice. Game Design and Development Terrible. by Dion Alsthorne. 6115. Label box and manual artwork done by Nathan Strum. Special thanks to the people maintaining the Stella Atari 2600 emulator. Mm -hmm. And a big thanks to the Atari Age community and Zero Page for their support. Thank you so much, Dianoid. Yes. Very nice. Put this away. Oh. So you don't sit on it and cats don't sit on cats it. Cats will sit on it. They love paper. Yeah. They love electronics. Yeah. Ms. Sinclair says this is honestly one of my fave 2600 games. It's so good. I've gotten up to 21,000. Good for oh you. Oh, my God. I don't think I've gotten to 21,000. Neither have I. I think around 15. Yeah. How, how high has um, Erlen gotten? He's done pretty he well. He's got a pretty high teens. High I teens? Think. I don't know if he got to the it's 21. 20s. It is a fun, fun game. Simplistic, but challenging. Yes. And it's got lots of different things that can happen, like these little jumper things. You have to collect letters. There's different platforms. Terrible! So really, you want those power boosts at the beginning so you can get right to the letters. Mm-hmm. You do want to do combos Very with those well if you it. can. Oh, I want that A. I wanted that A. Aww. You need two A's. Always go for the A's. If you can, if it's safe. So the first all white comes at 4,000. So mm. I'm going to try and time that so I avoid it. 4,000. Yeah. Okay, smart. It's hard sometimes because you need the oh. right letters, so... It is. Yeah, you may not even get there's all your letters a. in time. Now there's tons of A's. Need one more A. 
And that's what gets you the power boost. Yeah. Here's an A. No, it's not an A. That's an A. It's an N. Oh, it's an N. Oh, yeah. never mind. So not many pixels to make an A and an N. And, yeah, no, that's you know, fair. It does look in slightly, ammo. slightly A-like, but that's okay. It's got 2,000 points now. Yeah, you got 6,115, according to yeah. Arena Foot on your last game. That was yes, very good. Yes, that was not... That was a good game. Great. Oh, I, well, that was uh, terrible. That was better a. than me. <laughs> I missed the A. That's okay. Use your power boosts. No. Nope. You get points for them. True, but then you fly past the letters. Yeah, but you only need an A. But I might fly past an A. It's totally random. Yeah, that's true. Uh. There's an M again. Yeah, the A's are hard to come by. They seem to be. Oh, there was. There's an A. Hooray! And now you can use Perfect. your power boost. Look. So I'm flying past the four thousand. So I'm not all the way. <laughs> you got pretty. Or does it come at 3.30? No, it, it came at, at 4. four. You were yeah. before 4, so it doesn't get you all the way past it by the looks of it. No, but I guess it helps. Yeah. So I don't know if that's a big thing to I do. I guess you... Yeah, because there's no power boost here. So no. you can't get it once during... You're, once you're in it, and I was very close to being yeah. in it already. Need more letters again. Ugh. It's definitely Wrecked challenging. Me. And bye bye letters. <laughs> there you go. And then you get to the all blues, which is. I don't find as challenging because you can yeah. keep landing on them. The yeah. whites are like, they're gone. You best plan out your next uh, thing you're landing on with the, with yeah. the whites. I don't think I want to stop till I get like a 20,000 mm. kind of. Oh. Well, with that kind of movement, I'm not going to get to it. And I think all the all blues come at 8, so I'm going to be in trouble soon. Yeah. I keep doing that. Oh. Damn it. Ah, here's your all blue. Oh well. Just have to deal with it. Oh, eight one one five. That was good. You are late <laughs> for Honest Sorry. Space. You can rewind the episode, or watch it after, or watch it tomorrow on YouTube to see it. We played all the way through it, so you get to see all the whole level. Oh, did somebody record that? It's not a great score, but so uh, the scores entered so far in Harmony Games Round Three is Charles Wheeland. Uh, 16,265, so I have to at least beat that. Oh, didn't even make it. Um, and there's a thing on Facebook that happens called the uh, High Score Showdown. And they did have this game in the High Score Showdown um, from July 9th to August 3rd, July 29th to August 3rd, 2019. And that's when the big scores came in. Mm. Um, the top score in that one was 54,000 points. Wow. Um, I'm impressed. And the second one was 47,000 points. But then the person who got 47,000 points rolled the score. <gasps> really? At 99,000 points. Wow. Um, Deanoid. Jeez, you're going to have to up the... <laughs> number of digits. Oh. Um, and said, so Deanoid posted after that, I, Hi, I'm the author of Amoeba Jump, and it's great to see my game being feature featured in the High Score Showdown. My personal high score is 21,256, but people seem here seem to have crushed that score. Yeah. By the way, the maximum score is 99,999, after which there's a little surprise visible on the screen. Mm. And then later, uh, Stephen Jones posted, Rolled. So, Deanoid, Atari, what did I turn into? SpongeBob? Um... He actually turns into the original oh. design. Oh, the uh, the uh, sheep. What was it? What was it? What is the original game called? Yeah, we just said it. I swear. Is it called something jump? It's not a poodle. Poodle jump. No, no that's not, not his original jump? one. Oh. The original one was um, styled after the original game. Um, what was I've that forgotten called? now. Terrible. 
he's erased it from our memories <laughs> with his amoeba jump. Not oh doodle. He turns into doodle. the doodle guy, which has I think some yellow and green. Oh. See, I'm not making ninety nine thousand. I can tell no. you that much. Neither am I. Oh, you're closer than I am. <laughs> I mean, after a while, it does level out. It doesn't get harder. You just have to keep repeating. Yeah. I think it's pretty much after the blue. That's where it kind of levels out. And it just... You just have to sustain yourself. Because it doesn't get too much sparser. Because he could make it like it's really sparse. But also, it already gets kind of sparse. Oh. You want to you wanna go? Oh. Yep, whenever. So far my top is 8. 8155. But I have to beat at least the score that's on there. Which is 16. 16? Yeah. See, it's already kind of sparse, right? So you do get a little uh, bit of points it's, it's for not that too bad. I find jump. it pretty pretty dense right at the beginning. The, the first thousand is really dense. Hey! E! Another E that doesn't count. Oh, oh I didn't missed. get it anyway. Uh, an M and an M. M. Yeah. I'm getting coffee. I'll be back. Mork, is that your fourth cup? Third. Third. Okay. <laughs> coffee addict. Never took up that habit. Oh, and I've got it already. Wow. So, should I bother keeping it until... There's a big jump. Or should I use it now? I might as well keep it because the white, jumping on the white part is challenging. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have wrapped around. Jesus, that's terrible. Terrible. What a waste. You get like a thousand points for just that, uh, just hitting that. Mushroom, because it fast forwards you so far. Oh. What an amazing first game to make as your first Atari game. Like, what a, what a great idea and what incredible programming. And of course he's continued on uh, with his tradition of incredible game making with Tower of Rebel, um, another port. And now he is pretty much finished that game. And he's now working on Fool's Gold, which is another port. So his third port, uh, which is a port of Load Runner, which nobody has ported to this uh, 2600. And it looks to be like almost a perfect version of Load Runner. It's unbelievable. If you take a look at it, uh, Fool's Gold. So hopefully we should have uh, that game on the show fairly soon. It looked almost complete. Like he's got the enemies. I think he could. Jesus. Oh, the problem with this game is like one tiny little misstep and it's done. You anticipate a landing pad that's not there. It's over. I don't know if he had the enemies being buried yet in Fool's Gold. I know he's got the digging working and falling through the digging and hanging on to the little uh, handrails going across. He's got the ladder even at the end. He's got the gold working. When you collect all the gold, he's got the ladder um, up to the top to go to the next level. He didn't go to the next level because I think he's only got one level. Levels aren't the hard part, it's the making the levels work. Because um, there's tons of levels already pre-programmed in all the millions of versions of Load Runner out there. Okay, so I'm at 3,000. So I should do it in a little bit. Oh my god, now it's sparse. God. Troubles. 
gotten it twice, but I've been delaying getting the plunger so I could avoid the white. Yeah. But then I miss, then I just fall off. Yeah. And I don't get it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I should have just done it earlier. Oh, the D train's back. Welcome back. Don't be the coffee police. <laughs> Too much coffee. Pull Too over. Too much. How many coffees have you had today? I don't know. I might have to write you a citation for the number <laughs> of coffees. James is not a coffee drinker, so he is always in awe of the amount of, the coffee, amount of coffee people coffee. drink. Yeah. Like, there's no other thing like that you consume other than water that people do that much. That drink or eat that much. Maybe gum? Gum? No. Well, no. People don't even eat that many sticks of gum in a day. And you don't even eat the gum. You just chew the gum. It's Coffee a is a very, very a special drug. It is a special drug. That uh, is very socially acceptable. Yeah. Cigarettes. Yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah. They're but, drugs. They're drugs. I, they I'm don't, not, I'm not don't pretending. Eat, people don't eat cigarettes. But it's something they do. That is not necessary. It's like a habit, sleep. too. Like, water is, like, necessary. You don't yeah. have to have coffee. Well, if you're, if you're addicted <laughs> to caffeine, you have to have coffee. I just don't feel the same without coffee. Well, I can't up, wake up, up without with, coffee. I, it's not that I can't wake up without it. I will get some pretty severe headaches <laughs> if all of a sudden I start... I, I went from, like, drinking to not drinking at See, all. that's a problem. But it's pleasurable. Coffee's nice. Because <laughs> you don't it's get headaches. Well, no, no, but it's it's also a habit, it's a too. boost. Yeah. It tastes good. It tastes good. Coffee has water in it. Exactly. It still uh, hydrates you. That was a myth that drinking coffee didn't oh, provide hydration. Really? It, yeah. It can be a bit of a diuretic. It doesn't but make any. S oh well. You it lose can be a bit. The water. But you. But you also as a gain water too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Because it's made mostly of water, so it didn't make yeah, any course. sense when yeah. people said that, and it never made sense to me. It's like yeah. what? It's mostly water. How yeah. can it be? It is a bit of a diuretic. Though, yeah. So. so you lose it all. Well, not all of it. No. No. There's a. <gasps> and missed. Uh, Who knows? That'll be another one. Hopefully. Before you hit 4,000? I hope. I don't know, though. Getting very close. Oh, that's an M. Oh. See, that was a very difficult position. You had to jump on the white and then jump off the white immediately. Josh. Beer hydrates too, but wine is too strong. It's true. And. Jesus. Um. Beer actually has a lot of water in it. It kind of counteracts the alcohol a little bit if you're prone to dehydration. Unfortunately, um, Erlen was busy today. Yeah. So I wanted him to be on the show. But you kind of, you wanted to make sure the um, Skyping was working a bit better. And, and we tested it last night. Yeah, but... And it uh, seemed to be fine, but it, I find when we... Uh, there's something funny, yeah. Do it off the show, it's perfect for hours. And as soon as we use it on the show, it's like, nope, no, nope, we're going to go all out of time, mm. and it's not going to work. Because he's really good. He's better than me at this game now. Oh, he's very good at it. Because he just loves it and practices yeah. it. You were trying out a little, oh um, mm -hmm. an application that you could use on your phone to play some of the homebrew, homebrew games? Can't talk about that yet. Okay. Sorry. But yes. <laughs> yeah. Because this would be, I mean, this reminds me of like iOS, well, it was developed from one, but this would be an awesome game to have oh, on a mobile perfect. device because it's a nice, simple, enjoyable, repetitive game, so. And it only yeah. uses two controls. Yeah. Sorry Which if is... I talked about something I shouldn't have. But, uh... <laughs> we didn't give anything away. No, I did not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's it's one of those games. Oh. Mm, why am I doing so bad? Might be time for you to take over for mm. a little bit. Can I swap out the controller and see how that works for me? Sure. Yeah, when you're... When we switch. Sorry for displaying my terrible... Game playing skills I don't on think this. I thought your first round at 6,000 was pretty decent. But you've hit 10 before. Oh, yeah, I've gone up to mid teens. But mid -teens. It's, it's pathetic, though. It's pathetic. I should be much better at this. I love platform games, and this is essentially a platform game. Yeah. But you play so many games, you never have the time to practice any single no. game. And that's kind of part of, part of it, too. 
if, if you if you put the time in and practice a game then yeah you know. but i don't i pretty much play these only on the show so yeah what just happened there yeah. so anything anytime you see me playing i can just swap is these the out right yep the only time I really play Atari games is when you guys see me playing Atari games. <laughs> it is kind of funny that way, but I mean, I, I practice them for like a couple seconds to make sure they're working um, on the system and they'll they'll boot up and everything, but most of the time it's fine now. Um, how is it? Ah. <laughs> As you die. Yeah. Really, really great graphics. Did you read out who did the graphics? I did. Nathan Strum. Nathan Strum. Label, box, and manual artwork done by Nathan Strum. Really, really nice. And they have four feet, these guys. Yeah. I like the amoebas. I like Mrs. Amoeba, too. Yeah. Oh, we can't play Mrs. Amoeba, unfortunately. No, no, no. That's Not fine. this version. I think Mrs. Amoeba is only in the retail version. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think you're right. Oh, because that's one of the things that he held back on. I think that's the only thing he held back on was the two-player mode. So I think, or uh, maybe the high score saving, possibly. So I think that's what he held back on as well in the Tower of Rubble. Any modern phone's browser can play Joystick 2600 games using the touchscreen with Stellarator. Oh, there you go. So people can play this on their phone. I assume there's all kinds of... Um... This might work well with the trackball. Ugh. I can see this I'm working so well. so bad today. Um, as long as you don't... The problem with the trackball... Oh, that's a tough one. I'd die on that too. Yeah, um, Would be the oversteering on it. Um, it would be a different game because with a trackball you could theoretically, I guess you could limit it to the same distance. Or you could spin it and you could only go so far. Um, or a paddle. But paddles usually are like absolute, um, uh, positioning of something on the screen. It's like you spin it, your character goes to that position rather than move slowly or at a speed to that position. Um, this one is about pressing right. Oh, goodness. Like, wah, wah, wah. Dodged all of them successfully. <sighs> Al in the first says, Amoeba Jump uh, may, was my little daughter's favorite until she started playing the Ninjish Guy. Oh, oh yeah, wow. Ninjish Guy is great, too. I'm yep. not doing very well right now. The coffee is not helping. <laughs> Up to a point, Up the drugs point. help, and then they then don't help. Then they don't help anymore. And it's, it's a very down. true. Downward spiral. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, this might work well, the trackball. Yeah. It's if, worth trying it. I mean, I mean, I have a trackball that emulates a joystick. So it would work well in that way. So that might, that might work. When in doubt, blame the controller. It might work better. Are you talking about like actual trackball trackball or joystick emulated trackball? Probably real trackball. Why would you bring it up if it wasn't? Hmm. So do you get extra points for going on the mushrooms? I think it says yes, you, you did. Yes, you do. 50. Yeah. And then you get even more. An extra 50 if you get a second one. And bacteria are 20 points. But I mean, relatively, those aren't very much because you make that in like half a screen. Those points. So it's not worth going for if they're dangerous. The only thing worth going for is the super bonus jump. Um, what do they call that? Jeez. What do they say? Uh, do, 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 do. Super boost. Yeah, the super boost is definitely worth it. Mm. Okay. My turn. <laughs> Come on, get it together. The other such a cute game. issue that can happen in this so game is catching your foot yeah. on a platform unexpectedly, yeah. and then you can't compensate for that. Yeah. 
Yep, yep, yep. And then it's like, ah! And you're done. Especially if it's on a white one, and then it falls away, and then you're like, oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, and then you're done. Yay, yay. I am just going to do the boost whenever I get it, because it's being very distracting me doing that well, strategy. Well, it's, it's, it's funny, because sometimes you hyper-focus on a strategy, and then... You forget the rest of you're, it. You're not being as precise, and yeah. Like, I found I've done my best when I'm not caring too much about spelling amoeba. That's true. And, and I'm just, I'm just jumping. worried about precise. But I'm not as good, I, I think, as you in Ireland for jumping on the platform. So I'm still kind of... You're a little, you're a little wiggly. I'm wiggly. I, I <laughs> freak out. I, I, need, I need, like, a... Oh, you've got a... You're amoeba. Good job. Yeah. Um, Thank you. I just need to calm down. <laughs> yes. It's basically Too much it. coffee. Again, three cups of coffee is okay, probably I'm not just helping. Okay, I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. Yeah. Probably going to land in the terrible spot. No. Not yet. No. I mean, I suppose if you get it quickly enough, you could do two in a row. You still have another yeah, 700, but I don't see any tough. I don't see any letters right now. Yeah. So maybe maybe you can't. Maybe you have to wait until you get past. No. Oh, there's no. Letters. There you go. It's just I don't think there's enough time. It's yeah. possible. I see it as being possible, but not yeah. probable. I mean, if you got every letter you possibly could maybe. So maybe. Could have died there. Already oh. past the four. Oh, it's not four. It's not four. No, maybe it was forty-five. And it only lasts five hundred. That makes sense. So that's there. Why. You go. There's there's forty-five. Oof, challenging. I got my foot on that one unexpectedly. But the good thing is you get oh. out of it quick. You do get out of it quick. You have to keep moving. Yeah. You can't lollygag. <laughs> No lollygagging. It's a great word. Yes. Oh, messed up. That and Nutella mode. Nutella mode. Yeah, I love it. Not many games nowadays have Nutella mode. Oh, well, well, you'd be surprised. The, the homebrews that I played. I yeah. mean, uh, Robot City but, has Nutella mode. Well, when you say games, if if you're talking about modern games, oh, no, a lot of games do. Like you play RPGs, and they have easy modes, and they have hard modes. A yeah. lot of them do have modes that. Um, Make gameplay more challenging if you like that. That's true. Jesus. Oh, six, four, eight, seven. That was no, pretty good. No, it wasn't my highest, so don't bother. Oh, eight thousand was my oh. highest. That is sad. Yeah. Hi, Perkat. Thanks, Danny. You see? Tear a bull. Oh, I was trying to do something. You can actually land on the edge of a mushroom and not hit it. Mm. Like, yeah, um, you can. You can actually catch the corner of the platform. The little yellow corner. Which, and it's very surprising when that happens. Yeah, but you know what's great? You're going to have to fly over to the other side, yeah. Fly back. Yeah. Um, it's very unnerving and surprising. I don't like that because you kind of freak out. Um, I think that just goes towards the thought that the... Um, what do I want to say? The uh, consideration Dion and Nathan and everyone has put into this game that you can catch the edge of it. Yeah. You know, it's not just, oh, you hit the platform, you always bump up. You actually can catch and jump off the edge. You can you can bounce off yeah. the corner if you if you hit it in exactly the right place. Yeah, if is, you want to intentionally do neat. that, good you, luck. You but. could. Well, yeah, it'd be very, very challenging, but it's very cool. Oh, I love Amoeba Jump. <laughs> I love the amoeba, and I love how the amoeba oh. gets a happy face when you and when it jumps on the mushroom He's too. So happy. He's so happy. He goes ah, oh! <laughs> and then he gets all flashy. I think he flashes colors when you do the super super oh, amoeba jump. Oh yes, jumps, he does. So. He gets yeah. really flashy. Yeah, it's very cute. Hey Atari, you like it, eh? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I think why. Games like this and arcade games were so addictive is when they were hard and you just died and it ended, it it actually motivated you to keep going because you're yeah. like, no, I can do better. And you just keep pushing your way through it. Especially when it's a simplistic seeming game like this. Yes. It's just land on a platform. That's your whole thing. If you don't land on it, you die. But all you have to do is land on a platform. That's it. There's not much to it. You always try and get the center of the platform. Try not to get the edge, but man, like 
what are my pro what is my ma major problem so far I, d I don't know usually it's wrapping rounds not too bad it's landing when I do a boost that's always an issue I think it's just not precise being not precise in the mm. landing because it's more maddening when you don't when you do something terrible on a, something that should be easy oh my god unexpected platform landings get to 4,500 so I can bypass that, please. No way. There's my A. Damn it. I caught my foot on a moving blue. Thank you. And there's my boost. Yeah, that's a good time and to take it. Yep. Get 1,000, I think. You almost. Get almost. You get 500, I think. Mm, it was 42. No. Four to no, no. It was... It was... 42 no you were close to 45 was i yeah you were you were very close it is 500 then yeah oh, we'll it is 500 it, it no it definitely it definitely was more like 500 oh, wrap <laughs> over yeah. always a challenge but i avoided it 90 percent of it yeah this game is definitely once you surpass a certain point it's just the is, same is the same and it's just not falling off the platforms really <laughs> yeah it's great so you can see why somebody could wrap around the score mm -hmm. if you get in into a into that gameplay mode and and you're just mentally in it then yeah you could just keep going so oh <gasps> no <laughs> Yeah, that that's your right. no you got eight something before yep. right yeah. yeah eight it's your fault no he's Sorry. trying to help <laughs> he's fluffing giving it up you, he's giving you good vibes good vibes he says purr see i needed the purring now he's purring mm -hmm. i'll do better with the purring mm -hmm. it's calming yeah, I do not predict I will win this round. <laughs> I came in third on the Aardvark. Um, Thomas came first. And somebody else also used his trick. But I didn't notice the trick. And came in a little bit below. See, I did it in the edge there. Yeah. <gasps> oh no. Terrible. Oh, don't record my terrible scores. <laughs> oh, per cat. It's funny, on um, highscore.com, there's only one score recorded for this game. And it's really low. It's like 2,000. So, if anybody wants uh, the world record in Amoeba Jump mm. uh, on highscores.com, it is wide open. I will submit one if I get above 20,000. I have a feeling there are a lot of people out there who oh, tons. can get on that leaderboard. So. Tons, but they just don't know about highscore.com. Yeah. Or don't care. Mm -hmm. Or don't know that this game's on there. Or, yeah, that yeah. too. Or they don't own a cartridge because it has to be non-emulated. It has to be non-emulated. Uh, um, yeah, and they don't have the final version, so. Yeah. You have to have the cartridge. So that does narrow it down. Um, actually, nobody should be able to enter in their score for the emulated there is no final version of this ever put out on uh, a binary. I mean, 
I have it, but not anybody else. So the only way you could get a high score is having this on cartridge. And I know this game sells because this is an awesome game. Oh. I have to make sure all this. It's not that long because it pushes you through it. Mm -hmm. When do you hit the next blue level? Seven or eight. Seven or eight? Yeah. It's around there. So you just need an A right now. And I just saw one go by. That's okay. <laughs> You're far from seven or eight, so... Oof. It's getting sparse. Oop, there's your A. Hooray. It's like you have enough. Let's do it. jumpy just watching you. <laughs> it's a jumpy game. It's like, ah, ah, ah. Because at any second you could die. Mm -hmm. Any second. I need some letters. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 oh, here we there. go. We're here. It's blue time. my foot by surprise there almost died there <sighs> let's calm down calm down <laughs> break luckily you can take breaks in you this can game. You just if you go find a yellow. yellow yellow platform you can just because there's no time limit so no it's always nice hi cav 73 welcome kevin yeah. D train thirty seven says we can hear him purring. Yeah, he's calmed <laughs> okay. down now, but you Actually yeah, hear he was him purring? Well the the mic's yeah, he's a loud purr. Him. Yeah, he is a loud loud purr cat. Pixel does purr, but he's very selective about his purring. <laughs> and it's usually quiet. Yeah. Well, no, he can be quite loud, but uh, it's yeah. he's not a purr cat. He no. he will only sh show his pleasure in very limited <laughs> specific circumstances. Yeah. <sighs> Made me very nervous. <laughs> mm. I do think it gets sparser. It, I don't know. I don't Look know. How it goes back and forth. It, it goes back and forth. It's so busy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> You're like jumping. No. I need like a anti anxiety med <laughs> when I play this game. Oh, oh, you're back to another. What was that? 1250. 1250. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to. I'm, I'm trying not to so like funny. freak you out. Oh no! But that was a good score. Kev seventy three. We have one quiet, one noisy, one too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. your turn. Thirteen oh five. I'm it's, not gonna be beaten. It's that. a score. It's good. That's yeah. a good score. Yeah, it's one of my better ones, but it's not a happy score. It's a fine score. I'm gonna give it one more run. Okay, that's your score, 263. <laughs> now you're really... Hi. Hi. Let's get that motor going. There we go. It's probably not loud enough. Jumping. There we go. Purr, purr, purr. He does snore a bit too. He's gotten better. Yeah. He used to snore a lot. Well, we think he might have a few little asthma issues. But... Yeah. Oh, oh, went back for it. <laughs> yeah, I knew it hadn't gone off the screen yet. So. Yeah, you can miss 
letters too because they don't cover the whole width of the of the line so it's kind of funny that there's that little bits thank dan avc and arena foot for typing my score out it's probably going to be my top but i'm going to try one more before yeah. we end the show i have i have i have no uh no no i was going to say i have no uh delusions of getting really high scores today so well luckily there's no minimum to get on the board this time I think. Let me well, just, I don't, I I, I'm, I'm okay the... with, with not ending up on the board. <laughs> well, you're doing well. I think you're third. Mm, I've done overall. much, I've done much better. I've done much better. I've, I've, I've at least done eight or 9,000 before, but I haven't played in a while. So no. we're going to be using um, version 1.3 of the game. Uh, there's no difficulty settings or different levels in this game. We will accept, accept scores past 45 points. <laughs> 45. Uh, this is to... determined after a few plays. I did that. 45 points is what you get on the first screen before the spring, first spring shows up. That's so funny. If you get, can't get past 45, oh boy, you've got problems. Oh. 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 Whoa! Good recovery. Barely. Uh, play until you die and submit your best score as according to what I said above. Um, so like I said, Charles Wheeland is still beating me because I didn't get above 16, but I got 13. See if anybody else, uh, nobody's posted so far. Let's see what the rankings are right now in terms of overall numbers. Luckily, I did very well in the first round, so I, um, I got 10 points, and then on the first round, second round, I got 8 points. Didn't even land on it. So I have 18, and I'm in first. I'm gonna get to two. And you're in second overall. No. You have 15 points. It's very, very good. So you got seven last, and you got eight points the time before, because you came in third place. Oh, for the last game. Yeah, Arena, Arena, <laughs> Foot, has, Arena Foot has 13 points, so he's in third overall. Mm. So I think going on these springs right away is a good thing to get to the thousand, so you don't have to dawdle along, because there's mm. no extra bonus to get for the first thousand points anyway. Because there's no letters that show up. Now the letters show up. I find just getting doing springs a lot gets you faster through the game. Oh like just going through yeah. the springs. But I mean when you get the, when you're trying to get letters. Because that gives you a thousand right away. That's pretty good. Oh the letters? Five hundred. Um Oh. Or you get extra. You get oh, extra. 500, that's right. 500. You get 500. Yeah. Which is not bad. I don't know. Is it? I don't know oh if it's God. something you should target or you just go for height and just Maybe go for just springs. Maybe go for springs. I don't know. Let's try that. Let's just go for springs I remember playing an earlier iteration of the game well, and, yeah. and, and trying to go, because you get an extra 50 if you go spring, 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 and, and actively trying to just jump on the springed platforms. But I think the game has changed a little bit since then. But well, if you could get... Um, if you could get like a succession of springs in a row, you would just climb, climb, climb really fast and you get some extra bonus points too. So, but you can't do that through certain parts of it. Right. So he, it, they seem to be more sparse now compared to when we were playing at that, that time in the past. Early iterations of the game. Um, he had the springs timed out so you could just do springs forever. Yeah. Which was not great. It was fun. Well, no, it was fun, but... It was uh, not a good... Uh, but now you're noticing there's whole screens with no springs, so... Yeah. Just different. And all the springs were the same, I think, at the beginning. They mm. weren't There weren't two different types of springs. Uh, they had two at some point. But you could do the you could do the chaining of the springs. That's the term I was trying yes, to get. Chain like the chain the springs and get a bunch in a row. But less so now. There's it's definitely not on every screen. You know what? Yeah. I think this is the way to do it because to get even that super high score would just take forever. Yeah. Damn it. One more. One more try. Mm. We're hitting two o'clock. So. It's true. We're late. We are kind of. <laughs> Late for Mother's Day. And well, they know they know you're coming mothers. after, right? So, uh, they don't know about the show. What? You didn't tell your sister? 
that I'm doing the show beforehand? Yeah. No? Because I didn't think we... I didn't know... We took a long time on Ronister, that's why. So we not, wanted to get through the levels. Since I didn't when have we not had a three-hour <laughs> show? <laughs> it's I technically a two-hour show, but uh, it never happens. Her. You should have told her. Now I'm upset. Uh-oh! Uh-oh. You should have at least said, oh, we're doing the show first. We'll get. We'll be there when we're, when we're done. You can still do that. Well, yeah, you can message her. <laughs> it's just hanging around the pool. <laughs> Socially distance. Yeah. Far away Outside. from each other. Outside. Yeah. It's a big pool area and lots of grass. We are very fortunate to have a family member who has space and a pool. So. Yes. So I'm going to get the letters when they're convenient, mm. but I'm going to go for the plungers or the mushrooms um, when I can, just to go faster through the game. Mm. But not dangerously so, not like, oh, I'm going to get that plunger way over there. So I don't find this this part very hard because it's le it's not very sparse. It's quite uh, populated, I find. The the whites and blue only areas, and they're not that long. That's always a dangerous thing, though. Yeah. Oh, that was un that was just unlucky. Another one? Yeah. <laughs> Another one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just love the game. I can't help it. It's too much fun. I just want to get a good score. You did get a good score. Thirteen thousand's good. It's fine. It'll maybe put me in the top five. Hopefully. You can still try it again. When does it end? Uh, I think it's usually a month. Oh! So we'll be playing it at least... Well, we'll, we'll play we'll, it before we'll get, it ends. definitely get Erlen in on one of those, too, because I'm oh, sure he'll want to play. Oh, yeah. yeah. He wants to put a score in. Yeah. For sure. He'll probably destroy the rest of us. So. Oh, yeah. I fully expect him to. Yeah. <laughs> He's quite good at this. Yeah. Because he just played it so much. Yeah. Every opportunity at our uh, video game nights oh yeah 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 he'll be playing this all night we'll play a few things he'll be like i'll be playing amoeba jump and he'll just <laughs> sit here. in the corner playing amoeba jump so yeah well, this now is people sparse. are wondering what happened yesterday i don't know what did happen yesterday i don't know <laughs> what did happen yesterday with what <laughs> i'm confused the show <laughs> nothing the show wasn't on yesterday <laughs> no idea uh, unless it's in reference to something else it must be because nothing happened yesterday <laughs> get the game over faster you yeah. get higher faster by doing the springs <laughs> any hints about what happened yesterday <laughs> F73 says yesterday was a perfectly normal day. It's quite sunny. Nice here. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, perfectly normal. We're missing some. Okay. That's okay. We're done. We're done. All right. 13,000. I'll let you that for now. Uh, Dan, if, if you would like to put that in. <laughs> he is watching. <laughs> um, thank you very much yes. for uh, making this game part of your high score. Yeah, so, this is such a fun game. It's always game. nice to have an excuse to play this again. Yeah. Whether you're gonna gonna be in the top ten or not, it is just a fun game to play. So yeah, I suggest anyone just get a copy and play it just for yep. the fun of it, and put Buy your name on, put it. your name in there just just cause. It's, oh yeah, it's a, such a yes. fun game. Yeah. Um, so next Wednesday is the big day. 
That's when we're going to be playing Champ Games' new game. Nobody knows what it is, except for John Champo and maybe a collaborator. Mm -hmm. Usually has collaborators, mm -hmm. um, especially for the graphics. Mm -hmm. um, usually Nathan Strom. Mm -hmm. um, he hasn't said anything. Uh, so that's, I think, that's all I have scheduled is that. So i got to get busy scheduling some stuff. Uh, don't thank me. Thank the people who voted in this game in the Atari Homebrew ah, Awards, which is nice. true. Yeah. They work off of the Atari Homebrew oh, Awards. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So in each category, he's putting in the Homebrew games, yeah. which is very cool. Oh, don't put that score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I've scheduled. Uh, I need to fill in some blanks, maybe dive into some older games, because mm -hmm. um, there was really a lot of games being developed in the, the last couple months, but now it's like, I guess they're continuing on those developments. Mm -hmm guess a lot of new ones started up but they haven't finished off a lot of them um so that will be on wednesday evening 6 p.m for those of you who are not in europe or want to stay up late in europe <laughs> on a weekday yeah. and watch it uh, it's good for people in australia and north america mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can always watch on the replay so uh we don't know what game it is that's the whole fun about it yeah. until we turn it on last time we did it there was a passcode Mm -hmm. to enter in to see it so i couldn't even look at it i'm guessing he's going to do the same thing mm -hmm. uh or not because he passed me the the binary beforehand yeah and even if i turned it on he would just be like i can't look at it you can't you can't you and, have to put the password and he was in. making me work for the password too <laughs> he was trying to make me guess the password until he gave it to me it was torturous oh john <laughs> <laughs> so that's really funny i can't remember what it was but some some Atari number. Okay. Okay. Related number. <laughs> and we'll be playing Amoeba Jump definitely on the 7th of June because that's right before it ends or is the day that it ends. And then Galagon is the one after that for the high score. Oh, the nice. Harmony Games. Yeah, round Galagon. Four. Oh, yeah. I like Galagon. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Yes. Hi, that I'm looking forward to. That's a game I really enjoy playing a lot of. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not the best at that, but I do enjoy it. Well, you do, you do well. You yeah, do about well. 100,000, give or take. Yeah, but yeah. I, I find it's a game that if, if I see it, see Galaga in an arcade, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm drawn to, to it. I want to play it. So, yeah. June 7th is the last of, of this, this round. round. Okay. Uh, and we're playing it in the morning. So that's just enough time to enter in the scores. Hmm. I think it ends at 2 p.m. That may not be good. Let's just... Oh, I don't have a link to it. Damn it. What time does it end? Um, because we may have to play it the first game to just squeak in. Uh, ends April... Oh, that's Aardvark. Um, Harmony Games. One second. I just want to make sure I've got this right. Amoeba Jump ends uh june 7th at 2 p.m good mm. and we start at 1 p.m central time so we'll have to play it right off the top of the show mm. and then play other games mm. yeah to make that time uh okay so thank you everybody for joining in uh dan avc thunkist arena foot uh the d train kev mm -hmm. 73 uh thrust 26 you got a lot of names today because there's a lot of people who came in and out <laughs> charles whelan yeah. yeah we'll see how far it scrolls back mm. uh al nefer yeah azure 6502 tv josh carl g carl g uh ooh, 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 splendid, nut. splendded nut uh marcio fox mm -hmm. uh, miss sinclair thank sinclair. you for joining us live yeah. uh cafe man 2d Impaler 26. Ronister Official. Europedes. Packrat BG. Packrat BG. Ricardo Pim. Yeah. Alpha Gamer XR. Jumped in there. Yeah. Lord Howard Hertz. Hertz. Uh, Bill SP, who mm -hmm. talked about Nutella mode. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, that's it. Scroll back. Yeah. 
Spartan 581. Yeah. There we go. Just I know Gret Gretims was in there in the beginning, too. Okay, so. Gretims, too. Say hi to her again. Um, so thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, make sure you watch the next show uh, live if you can. That'll be Champ Games Reveal. It'll be very exciting, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. John Champo will be in person here to tell, talk to us about uh, oh, he whatever will be. it is. Oh, I'm, I'm sure he will be. Oh, you mean chatting. You're not going to. Chatting, not yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, he's joining us on the couch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're kicking you off. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe. I don't know if that's a good thing to bring him in. Maybe. We'll think about we'll it. We'll see. We'll yeah. think about it. We, I, we think we have the technology. We're going to do some more tests. We think we have the technology. <laughs> we do. <laughs> We're not. Whether, whether, we have the technology. No, we think we have the technology. <laughs> Skype him. Yeah. I yeah. mean, we could. That'd we be could. a lot of or fun. E or we could display it and then have him come in after, too. Just yeah. see what he's up to. Yeah. Just yeah. see what he's up to. Yeah. It's always fun to have the live guests. Yeah, if we can get it to work properly, it's so so sometimes. But, yeah, the audio yeah. starts straying. Oh, it's so weird. Up to ten seconds yeah. long. Yeah. But maybe Skype or I. I was saying maybe. Well, you know, you you don't think it's the platform. It's you think it's something it. else. He yeah. doesn't care the what software. it is. It's just HDMI out. Yeah, that's true. Um. So thanks for joining in, and uh, we'll see you on yeah. Wednesday. Have a happy Mother's have Day. Happy and a Mother's Day. Happy weekend. Yes. See you on Wednesday. See you on Wednesday. Bye. Bye.